I guess we're live now, yeah? We're up. We're yeah. up and running. Sick. How's it going? We got Beatrice in the house. Thank you for coming through. Yeah, thanks for having me. We got my man, Pier 7 Jacob, co-host. Is it Pier 7 Jacob or California <laughs> Jacob? Uh, we'll say Pier 7. <laughs> it uh, zeroes it in a little bit more. <laughs> California's a huge place. That's what's up. The interesting thing is, so ironically, me and Jacob have been doing this BK Skate Club. Mm -hmm. Um, where we kind of, and it's in bed and there's like these young kids and we kind of just, it's been since COVID, we haven't really done it, but before that we were doing it. And so we kind of linked up and reconnected and he's the SF homie. He always makes me feel, uh, back close to my SF roots. You know, he's hella, hella Frisco. <laughs> but, so the thing is, but I wanted him to come on the show to, to be my co-host, but I didn't even know that you guys were so close. Yeah. So that, that's <laughs> the funny thing about it that makes this all so great is that, uh, like it, it just happened organically. That, yeah, that I mean, you, that's what, New York will do that though. Yeah, for exactly, sure. <laughs> exactly. I feel like people kind of find the same, like wave they're on, you know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> for sure. And uh, when did you guys first meet each other? Dude, I'm trying to think. Do you remember? I think it was at Blue Ground, and I didn't even have a skateboard with me. I think I just had some like Nikes on, and I was chilling. I think so. Yep, it was that. <laughs> and you were like, yeah, like. I work at the... Um... I think I must have been bringing... Because I think uh, my old job, Pink Sparrow, used to build ramps and stuff. Okay. And they used to bring them down to Blue Ground. So I think that might have been one of the situations where That's... we were bringing a ramp down there. Mm. And I just, like, remember you. Like, oh, what's up? Or something. Yeah. Something. Okay. You know? No, no, no. You know what the first time was? I walked into Have a Nice Day with... Oh, yeah. uh, no, have a good with have um time. have a good time sorry what is that like a coffee oh. shop or something no a little like clothing store oh, okay it's right on henry street right uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah and um jaleen japanese jaleen jaleen from oh, you were with i was and she was like hey jacob was, yeah and so yeah that's when and i was okay. like oh was, jacob yeah, yeah. Oh, and then i remembered him from the park but that's when we really started talking oh, okay like just, nice. You know, and then we just always I kept in touch. I think I got super hyped on Jolene because yeah. I haven't seen her forever. She's mm -hmm. the homie. Yeah. And you just were like, oh, what's good? And we just all had that little moment. Exactly. <laughs> I think I was the only one working in the store. Yeah, it was just you. So I was like bored. I was probably waiting to talk <laughs> <Yeah>. to somebody. <laughs> no, I was like, like, yeah. we have you guys ever skated in, in San Francisco together? No. Or have you guys ever oh. ran into only, each other in the city? Only in New York. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think she shot me like a little DM one time, like with a picture out there. Yeah. Be like, I'm at Pier 7, fool. Yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. I only did a manual. I didn't do shit. <laughs> did, I, you, did you do a manual? Did you film anything at Pier 7? No, nah, I just got like a regular manual. I tried to do like kickflip Manny shove. Uh -huh. But good. it changed. Like, because the they got wood on the top Yeah, now. it's not what it used to be. Because exactly. I was watching all those Stevie videos, like, all right, I'm going to go out there. Yeah. And then it was like, oh. It's wood now, but I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'll go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. But you spent a lot of time in the city. Or were you out there for a while when they went filming for the, uh, was that, what was the video they filmed out there? Oh, uh, Candyland? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I was out there for like a week or something. Okay. And then um, after that, I would keep going back a bunch because I, I really like SF. It's chill. It's like mm -hmm. New York and L.A. put together, but like has its own thing going. Yeah. Yeah. It's sick. Yeah. It's kind of, it is kind of, a, it's the downtown is kind of a weird place, especially where they put the Supreme. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Jacob, yes. you grew up right over there. He grew up in the Timberloin. Yeah. yeah. He, he grew up in the L's. So. My dad actually moved a couple blocks like south of Market now and he uh, always stops by there because he knows like a couple of those guys yeah. mm -hmm. like, oh your dad came by again like. <laughs> that, that spot is hectic like i remember when we first went out there for the store uh -huh. um i went to go look at it before it opened and i saw i see this lady on the floor and she's crawling and it's oh, like shit. nine oh, o'clock yeah. at night yeah i'm like all right whatever like i hope she's okay i go back the next day because there's like coffee around there and cvs and the same lady was crawling on the like. Like I'm she's like, just been crawling like, for like 24 hours. Did you stay all night on the floor? It's just, I've never <laughs> seen such a thing, and that's just like in my head. I'm like, damn, this place is. Yeah. Active. You know the crazy thing about growing up in SF is that I, 
Like the downtown is so crazy. I yeah. thought everywhere was like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I came to New York and I was like, this place is clean compared yeah. to San Francisco. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have the opposite experience of that. I had to recalibrate my spider senses when I got here. Yeah. Because I moved to Harlem too, like when I first uh -huh. moved here. Okay. And I was like trying to be dipped. When I was in the TL, mm -hmm. I would dress on all black. I would okay. dress down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those will rob you off top. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. So I was in Harlem, and mm -hmm. my boy grew up there, and he was just like, yo. And people would stare at me when I was walking around wearing, like, Niner's jackets and shit. Yeah. Yeah. And my boy was just like, yo, they probably think it's tight. They probably think it's cool. Yeah, because they're, <laughs> they're flashy out there. Yeah. They love to wear, like, colors, like, yeah. true religion. Yeah. 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 yeah, like, it's a different vibe. They're a little stuck in, like, 10 years yeah. ago. Yeah, <laughs> they're there. They'll be there for a while, though. Oh, through time, I met people, and they were like, oh, no, you're, you're just flashy. Yeah, it was like yeah. different yeah. seas. So, Hell yeah. So but. Sick. Well, let's, yeah. I don't really know, like, where did, where did you grow up exactly? I grew up in Florida. Okay. So I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. So okay. a small town called, like, Delray Beach, Boca. Mm -hmm. And I just grew up there and, yeah. That's Part of my ignorance. But is that, like, South Florida or, like, Oh, that's North? South Florida. So I'm, like, an hour and 30 from Miami. Okay. And, like, four hours from Orlando. So I'm, uh -huh. like, not in the middle, but almost. So more south. Do you go back to Florida often or? You're yeah, I try to. Yeah. I, my family's still there. Okay. So... Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I've been dying to get down to Miami. I want to get out of this cold. <laughs> it, yeah, it's, not, it's getting nicer, though. This I know. I like, Today okay. is like the first nice day. It's been in a while. Yeah, I'm psyched. No <laughs> snow on the ground. I'm like, thank gosh. <laughs> what, uh, so, like, with skating and stuff, how did you get started and, like, what, what got you inspired? Just, like, start skating? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of different. So, um, I grew up... We, we I, I was born in Miami, mm -hmm. and then my mom wanted to move out of there and, like back in not back like not back in the day but like early 2000s she wanted to move to a more like country vibe place to raise her kids because there's four of us mm -hmm. i'm the second of four and she just wanted to raise us in some you know desipit area where she could raise us with her values and what mm -hmm. she wanted so we moved a little bit more north where there's not much going on okay <clears throat> and so then she let us like do everything like i did everything growing up like you name it tennis soccer basketball and like so and you're very just athletic. Yeah, like just naturally athletic. Mm -hmm. Like I had brothers, and so three brothers. I have two brothers, one sister. Okay. So older brother, a sister after me, and then a younger brother. Mm -hmm. So we were just doing a whole bunch of stuff growing up, and I guess I want to say, like for me, maybe they might have a different perspective, but it was like my older brother was always so good at everything, mm -hmm. but he didn't do skateboarding, and I remember watching it on on TV or something, and. I saw it at school one day, and I was like, this is sick. Like, I kind of want to do it. And it, like, peaked your, sparked your Yeah, it just sparked me. Well. And, um, you know, I just, like, asked my parents for a board. My dad got me, like, this Walmart board, and I was like, this isn't it. Like, this is not <laughs> it. Like, but yeah, as they do, my mom comes through. Uh -huh. She, like, got me a board from this website called soulboards.com okay. it's probably not around anymore <laughs> but she got me a real board like real metal trucks mm -hmm. wheels a back nice. bearings sevens those walmart boards it's like the wheel you try to make it roll yeah. and it just doesn't even it's like it's like <laughs> that's more dangerous like, exactly <laughs> so what was your first <laughs> yeah what was the board that your mom got you what, she got me an alliance deck i actually have a photo on my phone of it it's um it's a yellow i don't know the brand was alliance i guess that was a board brand back in the day but mm -hmm. it was black and yellow striped and had a big a in the middle i rolled that board till it was nothing till like, it was like razor tail dude even to the point where i didn't know much about skating the base plate had broken in half the mm -hmm. base plate oh damn i gorilla glued it together <laughs> taped it and i was still skating with it now i'm like i'm so picky now <laughs> things are like cracked i'm like ah. so who were you skating with at that time just myself uh -huh. just myself wow. um I would just, um, I don't know. It's like, with me, it's like, if I like something, I don't need anybody. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I just, just myself. And then as I grew up, so YouTube became a thing. And that's true. You could like, anything that you're curious about, you can kind of just look it exactly, up. Exactly. Right? The internet. So I typed in skateboarding yeah. and I just saw these, not even pros, random kids skating. Mm -hmm. And I thought those were pros because they could flip the board or whatever. How old are you at this time? Like? So I'm like I'm hitting maybe 13, 14. So okay. I'm, I'm like on the lawn, I'm online. I'm like, whoa, whatever they're doing, I'll just go to my, my back patio mm -hmm. and go try it all night all, until, you know, I have to come inside. But 
that's how I just started skating all by myself and you didn't start did you meet other skaters in the area eventually or no it's a it's actually a really small town now it's probably it's as I go back I'm like they built this they built that mm -hmm. we had one gas station at the time in oh, there damn. Wow, it was called yeah. gas one <laughs> it's a shell now though <laughs> but um yeah so I just I don't know I just I just I don't know I fell in love with it uh -huh. and I just like I just kept just skating. Yeah, I just I mean not until I was getting older, maybe like 15, 16, there was a, there's parks and I'd like see kids, but I'm really actually super shy, so I would mm. just like watch them and you know things like that, but other than that I was just skating by myself. I mean and Rodney, when you find Rodney Mullen, I'm like, he's from Florida. <laughs> I think I saw so you, you tweeted something about that. Yeah. Like, like, you're like, yo, shout out to Rodney Mullen dude, for, like, for breaking it all down. Like, <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he did. I like, didn't even know he was from Florida. Yeah, he's from Gainesville. Yeah, he's I'm like, from so Florida. that's how my mind works. I'm like, trip. he's from Florida. Uh -huh. He skates by himself. I could do it. Yeah, he's, yeah. In my eyes, he was like the best, you uh -huh. know? So I'm like, <laughs> I could do that too. So yeah. I just took after it, like what he did. But mm -hmm. yeah, it was just me for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the, so, like, all the other activities that you were into kind of just faded away as you as your love from sk for skateboarding grew? or A little bit. Like, mm -hmm. middle school, I would, like, mi middle school was really, like, oh, I'm not doing nothing but skating. Mm -hmm. Like, this is me. I'm going to school with, like, my, my skate stuff, skate stickers, like, all that yeah. stuff. Like, I was just a skater. But um, when I got to high school... You know, you start having other friends, and so I was like, I played basketball for all four years in my high school career. And did you ever play football? I never did, except for like flag football. But I'm not you, that aggressive as people may think. You, <laughs> you can catch the ball very well. <laughs> oh yeah, have you I seen saw. The, yeah, I saw. Yeah. You guys are at very Tompkins, natural, like, very natural. And bombs. No, I just love. I love sports. Yeah. So I, I just like being active. Uh -huh. But um, I don't know. I feel like skateboarding's a mixture of that. Like I love. I love painting growing up and art, but I can't sit still long enough to finish anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't like team sports that much because that's like every skater. That's I why am. we all skate because we hate team sports. So yeah. like I'm and like <laughs> and, you know, when you're the tallest, people rely on you and stuff. I'm mean, like, oh, I don't need this. But so skateboarding's like, oh, it's like it's art uh, and it's like you know. So you were playing basketball, but you were kind of like, uh, oh I don't yeah, know about I was playing basketball. I mean. I hate to say it, but like it came pretty simple to me. Like I'm, I was tall. Like I grew an inch every year of high mm -hmm. school. So five nine, and then when I hit twelfth grade, I was already like six feet tall. Oh, so yeah. I was oh. like the tallest girl. <laughs> so it wasn't that hard to yeah. like when everyone's five seven. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, that you're play, and we're playing like Dunking you're just like yo. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> you know, and we're playing like Jewish schools because it was a Christian private school. Oh uh, wow. Also, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah. yeah so how did your family as you got more into skateboarding how did your family react to that were they like accepting of that or because it's just such a like a yeah. so most people just don't understand like they're like what are you doing totally. <laughs> you're like i'm going skateboarding and they're like again like yeah. you're just gonna go play with this toy like yeah. in yeah. a lot yeah. <laughs> you know how did they like, like what's wrong with this guy <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah how did they take that like were they supportive or like were they just like if this makes you happy then like go mm -hmm. for it i mean my mom was like super supportive like she was just like well she she likes this and she shows interest in it mm -hmm. like let her do it and exactly. she never really like good mom was ever Hell like yeah no telling you like what you should do oh or, like, never never yeah. that was like her thing like if you like i don't know if you came to our house like she was just all about us like mm -hmm. her kids like you come to our house everything's labeled so we can learn how to read and shit <laughs> <That's> so, <laughs> yeah like you come to our house that's cute there's like refrigerator yeah. oven like that's <laughs> like it's literally like to, like yeah so you know how to that's like, what yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. like, cars, she, put everywhere. Like, she was just she just wanted us like to have a ch childhood she didn't have uh -huh. so anything she didn't get to do like her mom was like you're too pretty to like play basketball you'd break your teeth and she was like I like uh, yeah. so when she's like when I have kids she told she told me that she told herself like when I have kids I'm gonna let them do whatever they want yeah and she did that's she great let us do like everything with with restriction yeah, yeah you know course, what I mean yeah. but um she let us like really flourish and know? growing up in a small town like that that seems like one of those types of places where like 
small town America, people like football. Yeah. People are like, for lack of a better word, just like super basic type. Yeah. <laughs> and you you seem like there was so many layers to you of like your interests. You like art. Like mm -hmm. you're not like, was that ever, were you like the weirdo in school or like, was it? Because I was kind of the weird, because, yeah. you know, I, like in, in school, like all the skaters, you're kind of like the weird eclectic yeah. one that people don't know, really mm -hmm. know. Like, like, oh, this dude, was that a thing there, like in a small town in Florida? Or oh, yeah. You felt for, that pressure? Or? For sure. Like when I was like middle school, people would think I'm weird because mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, I, I'm the only one that skated. But and then, you know, the. The girls thought I was weird, but the boys gravitated towards me. <laughs> I, that's what I don't. <laughs> that's fine with me. You're probably better than them. <laughs> <laughs> but um, as you, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I felt a little isolated, but I, when I was so in my own little world, and once I found skating, it's like I don't. I don't want to be rude, but like I didn't care about them. I'm yeah. like, I want to meet like. I want to hang out with these guys. Like, yeah. You know, I was really into the element team growing up. Like, okay. I want to hang out with, like... Like Nigel? Yeah. No, that was... He left for I and uh. I. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> more like, um, like you know, all the, like Tosh Town, I remember. Oh, yeah, and then, yeah. like, it's like, damn, like, one day I want to hang out with... The, I was like, because they'll get me. Like, mm -hmm. I don't need them to get me. These people will get me. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, things like that. So I just... We always focus on the future. I'm a mm. Capricorn, so I'm very like, yeah, like, okay. so I'm like, yeah, these, when I, I'll have friends eventually because these people skate, you know? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's dope. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, is your family from the islands? Oh, uh, yeah. My mom, my, yep, my mom's from Haiti. I feel like your, your name is very, like, oh, ca yeah. Caribbean. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> like, like, French, like, Demand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pronounced Domo, but Domo. people say Demand. So it's you okay. speak, you, your That's parents cool. speak, like, French? Or yeah, what? French and Creole. Okay. I only understand it, uh -huh. but, um, yeah, so they do. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, you ever go out there? No, I have yet to be out there, but mm -hmm. my grandma's, she's probably going to, she's like, you have to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I think this summer I might go yeah, for a month. For sure. So I'll have no internet for a month, but I'm <laughs> chilling. That's all right. You could get be off the grid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll learn to, like, find something else. To hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Disconnect from all the... Yeah. But hopefully there's some skate spots yeah. over there. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> That's kind of like skate spots. It's like you just you are like, okay... Maybe we could skate that. Yeah. And then, like, a year later, you're actually skating that. No, you totally. Know, like. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? I have no idea. Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> like, I follow you on Instagram, Don't and you're, like, up. everywhere. <laughs> like, two days ago, you were in L.A. Obviously, like, you jumped on a flight. Yeah, it, yeah. Like, Globe I'm here. I'm here. I'm you chilling. You live in New York. Yeah, I'm chilling Oh, here. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I, I mean, my, my, like, my little fear, it's, like, I'm doing my thing. I got my shorts on, throwing out trash. And somebody's <laughs> like, hey, you're from Instagram. That's dope. That freaks that, me that's out. That's the life of an influencer. That freaks that's me a, out. So it's I just, like it's to a double-edged sword. I yeah, just do like my thing, <laughs> move around. But yeah, like, that's such a fear of mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what, where do you, like, what area are you in The, New York? the lower. The oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the hot spot. I yeah, mean, I mean, yeah. that's you're where you want to be at. And I, I like this little joke. Like, as you get older, you start moving up. East mm -hmm. Village, Upper West Side. Then you go upstate. <laughs> Then you gotta get the house upstate. Yeah, that's, that's right. what it sounds that's like. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. So did you ever like spend a lot of time? You spent a lot of time in LA, though, right? Oh, just recently. I mean, 2019. I was there every month at some point. Mm -hmm. um, but my first time out in LA was only in 2018 in May. That was my first time ever out there. Damn. Oh, really? Yeah, ever. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. So, how um, did you like it? Was, was what was your initial reaction? Well, I'm in California. I yeah. was like, this is where it's, you know, like, it was amazing. I went to all the spots that I wanted to look at, skated a bunch. Mm -hmm. I ended up, like, supposed to be there for a week. I stayed two months. Really? Yeah, I missed my flight, and I was like, I'm just going to stay out here. <laughs> <That's tight. laughs> Got That's an really Airbnb good. longer and just, like, Hell kept yeah. it out there. So I really, I really liked L.A. I really like it. It's not, like... It's not my favorite place, but I, I like it. Some people go out there and they hate all the driving and the traffic and like. That's what drives me. If you're yeah. used to New York, you like walking out of your house and skating down the street and totally. like. Totally. You know, so people, some people go out there and they kind of miss that whole yeah. aspect. But yeah. I was telling him like the other day, I was um, I was staying in Hollywood, and I walked all the way to Echo Park, 
Because uh, in my head, that's like, deep. That's you're like, that's what you do. You're like, <laughs> I want in New York. York. Yeah, yeah, I want. And then I'm real. I'm like, damn, this is mad far. Like, <laughs> I'm like, you're like, I thought this was a little closer yeah, in my head. In my head, I'm like, all right, just keep pushing. But it, it's nice because I've been, I found some spots that no one knew was like uh-huh. in the cut, and you're just like walking through. So that's cool. Yeah. I feel like you can find spots like that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That's and, cool. w- and when you walk places, people are just staring at you. Yeah, we're talking about that. Because you're like the only one walking. Yeah, like, especially if it's at night or, yeah. like, something. They're like, like they don't know? Mm-hmm. Like, they didn't get the, yeah, the memo? Get we don't walk here. <laughs> what was the first skate video that you saw that, like, got you super psyched? Like, like, the, like oh, uh, I'm trying to think the first video. That got me, like, hyped. Like, this is what I want to do. Yeah, see? like, one that you can remember thinking, like, damn, this is, like, this is my shit. Ooh. I would maybe it was some kind of like element thing no see like I had so so I had wanted to watch the video the elementary one Mm -hmm. and it wasn't on YouTube and I was like I'm never gonna get to watch this video so I ended up finding the minefield video oh okay with Jake uh, Johnson Jake Johnson Jason Dill Anthony Van England Arto and I watched that video and I was like Dylan's in there I'm like dude that video is insane damn this is sick like all the art in there in the beginning, mm-hmm. the bagpipe. I'm like, whoa! Like this video is. That video is amazing. It's a, sure. it's one of my favorites. I yeah. can w- that's the only video to this day I can watch from start to end without pausing it. Uh huh. It just keeps my attention. Yeah. Everyone's so different in there. Yeah. yeah. And then I bet you never thought, like you you discovered that on YouTube, and then now you escape. Jason oh. Dill's your balls. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, tr- that's just me out. That's the way that's that works, right? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It's so crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. I'm still that's such a, a fan. <laughs> I, used to, I used to, you know, like, there's a handful of like, people that made me really like skateboarding, mm-hmm. street skateboarding, and he's one of them. Yeah. You know? Me? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, of course, dude. I mean, it's weird thing. to be like, yeah, dude, what's good? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you're, you're like one of the OGs. No, know, for so. sure. I just watched your sh- street cinema part yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah? What yeah. did you think? It was dope. <laughs> it was dope. I liked it. It was Thank tight. You. I, I did, I, that was oh, a weird no. time in my life. I didn't really, like, put a lot of effort into that video. We were, like, That's supposed to put the... We were supposed to do a Menace video. Mm-hmm. And then, for some whatever reason, like, five years went by. Yeah. And that's the way it was. Like, peop- five years go by, people don't... Yeah. Not, there's no Instagram. There's True. no nothing. People yeah. don't see anything you do. Mm-hmm. And then the footage that you've filmed gets old. Okay. So, I don't know. I like street cinema. I like it more now, but at the time, skating was like great. It was all about big rails and like yeah. P-Rod was out there and oh, all yeah, these dudes. Yeah. And they were like, no, bro. Like, I can't fuck. This is the little kid on the team. Like, yeah. I can't hang with this dude. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this kid's but nuts. There's always a group that like work that like fits with your group. Uh-huh. Like like me and my friends, we're like we're not gonna do no handrails. Yeah. So yeah. we're like, oh, what's up with what is he doing or what are they doing? You know. That's true, but but when you're that's from the outside looking in, and yeah. I didn't realize that at the time yeah. that like somebody will like there's you know. Like you said, there's a group that likes everything. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, not everybody's going to like big, big stairs and oh, handrails yeah, and all sure. that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, people That's are like ledges and, like, cruising around and, like, you know. But at the time, I was, like, pretty hard on myself. I was like, oh, I need to jump down big rails. Yeah, I, <laughs> you, but, I mean, everything. everyone has a moment. Because when I was younger, uh, that's all I knew. So I was just jumping down stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I remember being like, well. And then you're like, uh. Sick, sick. <laughs> it's not fun. I mean, it's cool sometimes. Like, I, I don't mind jumping on something sometimes, but yeah, not you know, not every day. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so it's like the magic flute. Sorry to interrupt. No, go ahead. You it's like the magic flute. You fucking, you come up. Like, you jump down some big shit, land it, make it look cool. Yeah. Get yeah. a cover. Yeah. You know. <laughs> it's funny now though, because skating nowadays is just really about the way that you do something. You could do something super simple, yeah. yeah. But it's just about the style that you put into it and how, like, you know, just making it look really good and doing it. But I think it came back around. It I came back around. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, but I feel like it's always been that way. But Kinda. at some point, you have to, um, what is it, advance the sport. So yeah. I'm sure your era is like where they're like, well, we gotta push it forward, and it's like, all right, you guys are already. 20 stairs it's like all right like yeah what 25 like uh, you yeah. know what i mean like i mean at there some were point. there were dudes in, in like the 2000s that could like grind like a 25 star handrail but like couldn't do a line see yeah. that, trip, that trips me out i'll see yeah. kids like that at the park i'm you like, know what I mean? like you could kick yeah. like that, 10, yeah. but you can't kick flip on flat <laughs> and they would get sponsored because that's was the thing at the time yeah, yeah. you know but i don't i mean y- 
I always think of like, like, I'm like, if you can't kick football and flat, like, what are you going to do when you're old? <laughs> you can't keep doing the 10 stair. You know That's what I mean? Real. Like, I don't know. I, I just, got it. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> Seriously. Skateboarding is like, I, I, I just think of skateboarding like, it's for me. Like, I want to uh, have it as long as possible. I mean, I feel like that whole flying stuff's for other people. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you could do it to an extent, but at some point you got to have something for yeah. yourself. Yeah, totally. Save your body. So, uh, so you got really super into skating, and then did you you graduated from school? Like, did you want to go to college or? I, I, I graduated from high school, and I wa- and I did go to college, but I only did two years. Mm-hmm. So I got my associates. I was studying film, and um, things. <laughs> so I didn't finish though, unfortunately. That's when uh, when I was in the midst of that. Um, really, skating wasn't really taking off. It was more like I was getting like these other jobs to come out to New York. You're still in Florida. I'm still in Florida at the time, but I had already come f- up to New York because for the Cherry premiere. That okay. was my first time in New York, 2013. Uh-huh. Were you there? It was on uh, the Sunshine, Sunshine Theater, right? New York? Yeah. Was well, it on the Sunshine Theater? No, or Sunshine, not the sun, the one, East Village Cinema. Yes. Yeah, I was there. Uh, maybe I saw you. Because I, I obviously knew you from like a, the videos, and I mm-hmm. probably was like, yeah, me and my mom, we took the Amtrak. You came up with your mom. Mm-hmm. She went to the to the. Chair. She was there. <laughs> that's she was amazing. So hyped. That's, yeah, that's, Bill was so you, sweet. Did she have a good time? She had the best time. Uh, she had the best time. Is that her first time in New York? Uh, it might not have been because my dad's from here. Oh, okay. So I think when they were dating, he'd come up here mm-hmm. or whatever. But um, yeah, that was that was our first time together. Oh wow. Yep, and that was like it was unreal. Like. You That's know, awesome. like, how unreal that trip was? Like, the first thing you do, like, I come out to New York and, like, I meet, Bill hits me up, like, oh, you're here. Mm-hmm. We go to his house. He mm-hmm. meets my mom. So pleasant. Uh-huh. We're chilling. And then um, he gets my mom, like, a cab to go back to the hotel, and we skate to Supreme. Okay. Go to Lafayette store. I've never been there. And I didn't even really know how big of a deal it was till. I was there and it's cold and the the line is like wrapped around yes. the street. And, and they're like, like, and then you just walk right in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that was so silly. The queen has entered. So so but was what was so what was going on in your life at this point in time? Then how were you? Because I f- you you started skating and then yeah. you were you're doing your thing in Florida. Yeah. How did you get from like that to now being with Bill here? Okay, so and then like being in the Supreme video. So and stuff. I, I remember just like. <laughs> being a fan of his filming Mm -hmm. and um i was naive i'm from florida i didn't even know how it worked like that and i'm just thinking like i remember reading this interview about him because i became a fan of like jason and like all those guys and i was like oh sick like this dude's such a he he puts it together Mm -hmm. like it's cool and and i was going to school for film so Mm -hmm. i was like i'm gonna be a filmmaker like let me see how that maybe I might be a skate filmer one day you know what mm-hmm. I mean like the other path when you start seeing like you're, you're you're 20 you're 19 you're 18 and you're like I don't know if I'm gonna be a skater yeah you're <laughs> just you're you're exploring your yeah, options I'm and like, like you know checking different things out yeah. seeing what's out there totally like, yeah so, so I'm fork in the road yeah mm-hmm. so I'm like I don't know and I remember just being a fan of his skating so I'm reading all these interviews about him online and there's one where he's like, I think I might be done with filming skating and I might be doing fashion stuff or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, like, I want to meet this guy or at least film with him. It'd be so sick. Mm-hmm. And I guess I emailed him or something, my footage from, I don't oh, know, nice. this weird, like, it was before, it was not right before Instagram. So I emailed him because he had a website at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was emailing a lot of people at the time, like trying to get on or whatever. And But he only, he's the only one that answered back. And he was like, you, I mean, you got a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right? All no, you need is no. that one. Yeah, and he was like, you're sick, keep skating. Yeah. You know? Hell yeah. That's all he wrote. And I was like, damn, that's so nice. Like, he took the time out to say something. So I was like, I'm going to, like, try harder. Mm-hmm. And I would just keep skating, filming myself. And I guess one day he, e- he hit me back, and he was like, yo, I showed Jason your footage. He wants to reach out to you. <laughs> flipping out. I was dope. tripping out. That was dope. It's like my heart, like, dude, I'm like, whoa. B- Dill hits me up from his um, Metro PCS phone. He, as he oh, writes yeah. in the email, like, I don't do internet much these days. But <laughs> he doesn't have a car. He doesn't have a yeah, smartphone. Yeah, he doesn't he have anything. Do anything. And he's like, I don't know. Now you can get an iPhone on Metro. I know. <laughs> and now he's like, I don't do it. I remember the email perfect. He's like, I don't do internet much these days. 
but Bill showed me your footage, and I think you're sick. I would like to give you some workshop stuff. Nice. Oh, okay. So like, this is pre, like, <laughs> FA. Yeah, this is before FA. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, like, really? And, you know, as a kid, I'm like, could I say, like, I read for you? You know, like, yeah. he's like, going in, like, can I put it on contest? And he's yeah. like, uh, he's like, just do you. I just want to give you boards. Mm -hmm. And I was like, S I was like, all right, sick. And he's like, I was like, should I send you my footage sometime? You know, just being like a little you're kid. You're like, so like, what are we doing like, here? Like, so yeah, high. you're like, okay. Like, but he's like, he's like, I'm, he's like uh -huh. I'm not really on the internet much, but just skate. And, I'm, and he's like, somehow I'll see your footage. I was mm -hmm. like, that works for me. Mm -hmm. And I got my first box from Alien. It was two boards and three shirts. I remember being so hyped. Um, from there on, I just like, it's, you just play this game in your head. Like, I'm like, all right, well, I'm getting closer and closer. Things are moving. Yeah, moving a little bit. They weren't moving fast, but they were just moving. And mm -hmm. that was good enough for me. And I would just sit and build my stuff all the time. And I remember him being like, back, this is before I had a name, before anything. He's like, I'm working on this video. It'd be tight to have some footage of you in it. This like, video, you're like, it, <laughs> you mean like the hottest yeah. video? Well, like, <laughs> it's funny because yeah. I didn't even know the, the cherry video. I didn't even know Supreme was that. Yeah, well, what it was, and I was just like, Bill Sherlock wants to put like six, six. And mm -hmm. so, I remember filming myself, and I would send it to him. He'd be like, Oh, that's sick, that's cool. And I remember sending him that impossible over the gap, and he was like, Oh, that's tight. I think I'm gonna use this one, but like kind of nonchalant mm -hmm. and I was like all right well I don't months went by and I get like an invitation in the email like you are cordially invited to Supreme's Cherry but you you knew of Supreme as a brand but you just no no I would see it I guess Super 8 they would wear it mm -hmm. um yeah I didn't know any until I I didn't know what it was until I had Kim back from New York Mm -hmm. And they gave me like a shirt, and I'd wear it at the park, and kids were like, "Yo, where'd you get that?" They're like, "Yo, and I'm like, let, me, let me, I got two hundred bucks for that." Yeah, shirt. <laughs> like try to buy my logo, like yeah. off me on the street. Yeah. Like I had no idea. It was so like, yeah. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not. I, I mean, I don't even think it was. I feel like the skateboard video made it big as of today. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was always that big, but I feel like the skateboard videos have made it what it is today. I kind of think. Yeah, in my opinion. it played a big part in it. Yeah, because, like, until I went to New York and saw that line, I was like, oh, well, whoa, mm -hmm. you know? But I'd see the video and, like, you know, i see the shop or, like, Super 8 of it. And I'm like, oh, that's mm -hmm. a dope store in New York. But not thinking it is what it is, you yeah. know? Yeah. So you come up to New York with your, you're in the video, you <laughs> come up with your mom, you have a great time. Like, what happens after that? I go back to Florida. So it was only I was only out here for, for four or five days. Go back to Florida and I just keep living my life. Okay. Like chilling. You didn't have any expectations. You were like, oh, that's cool. No, 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 because I'm like, <laughs> they, they, don't, they don't owe me anything. Yeah. You know? One trip. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I got. I'm gonna go play basketball. I got to go to New York. I I think I met Jamal Williams that night too. Okay, yeah. I was like, Great done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I'm psyched yeah, uh -huh. and like I I met everyone at the, I'm like. Everyone in skating is in the room at the room at the time, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Well, that's sick enough for me." Like, I honestly don't think skateboarding owes me anything. So I was just, I went back home, but I kept skating, obviously. And um, I don't know. I guess after that, it was I would just keep skating, making videos. Instagram became a thing. Mm -hmm. I just kept video on Instagram, so I would just post. Just kept skating yeah. and just keeping in contact with them. And I guess I got better, and they were like sick <laughs> the funny thing is is like that's <laughs> how it worked like <laughs> like you did people are always like trying to figure out the blueprint of like how this should work and yeah. the, the reality of it is you just keep skating just yeah do it. that's exactly <laughs> what that is yeah, yeah. i just you, i just loved it so much and i'm like and i think i heard alex say that like someone said that like if you, if you have it, mm -hmm. there's no way that they're going to deny you mm -hmm. but if you don't it's not for you mm -hmm. but if you have that thing it's like there's just you don't have to like push it in people's faces. Yeah, it'll just be there. It'll it'll be there. For and you I'm not sure. about like, you know, I'm mm -hmm. like, if they if they like me, they like me. If they for don't, sure. I'll find something else. <laughs> so you you go back to Florida and then like you're getting alien boards. Yeah, alien boards. And I got okay. So I guess I'm not, I don't want to mess up the timeline. So I, I think I was getting alien boards, but after the video, 
September. So I'm trying to think. The video came out in March. Mm -hmm. Okay, the video came out in March. Jason and Ava leave Alien in May. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh no, like, I don't know. Whatever. And they're starting FA. And I'm like, okay, I guess. But I guess I was just in the talks of it. And I ended up getting my first FA box in September. Okay. So I was just like, so I've, I've always been on. Yeah. From the start of it, but just like a flow kid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it was that kind of thing. Cool. But yeah, so a couple of months after they left for Alien, and then September, I got like my first box of boards from FA, and then I got like some, some pre and stuff. Yeah. So when did you first meet Dill and Ave? So I, I met Ave, I met, I met Jason that night of the premiere. <coughs> And that day, because we had skated the House of Vans, mm. the old Brooklyn one on Franklin Ave. Mm -hmm. So I met him there finally in person, because I was talking to him. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I, I met, I didn't meet Ave till, till later, because I don't think he was there. But you never thought you would have an Ave colorway shoe. Crazy, <laughs> dude. I just saw him. <laughs> Insane. Like, like, we're going to have, I didn't, you could never imagine we'll have a collaboration shoe one day. Insane. <laughs> I just saw him in LA the other day. We were just chatting it up, and I'm like, I'm like still such a fan. I'm like, dude. Yeah. And we're in the FA shop, and I'm like, this is crazy. Yeah. This is so crazy. And he's still killing it so hard. Still killing it. <laughs> Ava, I, I, he's a great guy. He's like super intimidating. He's just so yeah. serious. And yeah, but like, I kind of like that though. It's just <laughs> yeah. like, it, he, because if he likes you, he likes you. Mm. He's not just like. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I no, like that. I like no, no bullshit. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's cool. So then, you when did you make the move to New York officially? Then so that's like, so I'm still in Florida at the time, kind of just skating, skating. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until later because I'm very cautious. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't gonna like come out here with no, no money, and yeah. um, <clears throat> so I would get little jobs here and there, like little like modeling jobs or whatever, and I was just like. Oh, I thought I could, I would save up and just, just, I would come back. I would come, I was coming back and forth for like maybe two years, just like on spring break or every other month, something like that. Did you stay with friends and stuff or? No, I would just like put myself up in a hotel. Dope. Mm -hmm. okay, That's that official, yeah. Yeah. No, it's official. Yeah, but you got like, that modeling money. Yeah, yeah. yeah but <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to see if I could do it, you know, mm -hmm. if I could take care of myself and not having to like rely on people. Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, that's always like, I don't know. You can only can stay your, your welcome so long. So yeah. I was just like, if I could put myself up at a hotel, eat, you know, and be okay. Like I could live out here, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So I'm just testing myself out, but I've tested myself out for quite like <laughs> maybe two years. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Uh, you know, some people are like make knee jerk reactions and do yeah. things like that. And yeah, yeah. yeah some people that are works different. for some people. And, you know, some people need to, you know, yeah, work their way up. things and like, totally. you know, figure it out. So it seems like it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like New York has like a little honeymoon little era too. Cause mm -hmm. when I used to visit here a lot, yeah. it used to be the most popping thing every time I showed up. Oh, yeah. Everyone was like happy I was in town. Yes, I was doing all the dude. Cool shit. And of course, yeah. when you come to visit, it's always in the summertime. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Right? I mean, and that has something to do here, with it. You're like, you better get a job. Totally. You better work every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're like, what? You're like, oh, I forgot about this part. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh, people actually like live and uh, yeah. Out here. That's so funny because um, you you know Sage. Mm -hmm. I remember talking to his sister Paloma, and she's like, when are you gonna move out here? And I'm like, I don't know yet. She goes, it's actually good that you're thinking about it because like, not everyone's gonna be, what you doing? Let me take you out to dinner. Like, it's gonna have a real life here, so you just yeah, have to yeah. realize like it, it, that's gonna hit you like. It's not always going to be fun. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I remember her telling me that one day, and I was like, thanks. Like, that's good to know, because yeah. I'm coming out here, hanging out with Bill, like, hanging out with everybody all day, and, like, they have lives. When I'm gone, they go back to their stuff. Of course. Yeah. But if you're here every day, you don't have to, like, mm -hmm. oh, what are you up to? You're only here for a week or something. Let's chill. So th that's when people make an effort to do more things. Exactly, yeah. when you're just here for a little yeah. bit. So that was good to know, though, mm -hmm. because I'm thinking you come out to New York, we're going out every night. It's yeah. like, no, we have a real life now. Yeah, so yeah. I remember her telling me that when we were just talking. I was like, damn, thank you, because 
He laced you with some good game. Yeah, he laced me with some good <laughs> advice because I was like, is it going to be like this all the time? Because yeah. it was more fun I mean, in Florida. Even more so in winter, you're like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. You're like, like uh, nobody I just sat knows. in my house alone for like two weeks. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, keep yourself busy somehow. So that's good. that was good advice. You already have a leg up, though, because you already have a place to go in Florida. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's <laughs> Anytime, the move. <laughs> that's, the, that's the lick right there. Anytime you're like, hey, this sucks, I'm just going to go Head home. Head to or Florida. That's where people and go you get the home cooking. New York, yep. No, go ahead. That's where people go from New York anyway. Yeah. yeah. The, you know, hours. Hours. Exactly. Yeah. Chilling. <laughs> <laughs> you met Sage and Paloma and all those guys at the Cherry premiere? Yeah. Like the whole, like the but whole I was squad? Like, I was like talking to like Sage because he, I think, Dill was like, we're going to give her boards. So mm-hmm. we were just talking like, he like, you know, your skating's getting better or stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I talked to him before, but then I met them in person. All I met everyone that night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, cool. Dope. I used to work at the Diamond Store in L.A., and I know Sage oh, so. from there. Oh, dope. Yeah, Good Sage guy. and Tyler and all those kids, like, they were, like... Yeah, look at them now. I know. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I used to, like, they used to hang around the Diamond Store. They were just, like, little oh, kids. Yeah. I used to be like, Sage, go, go, <laughs> there, you know those stairs across the street? Oh, there's these stairs on Fairfax. Okay, yeah, those. Yeah. Can you just a, back through them? Yeah, okay. I think so, yeah, and because there's a little two, two, yeah. two stair after. I knew the, they would land the tricks first try, but I just wanted to see them do it. Yeah. So like, nah, go hard flip those stairs and I'll give you a shirt. And he'd be like, okay. And he would just Sage. do it first try. Oh, yeah. like, Sage, go, I don't know. Whatever, he'll whatever. flip. Yeah, go, he'll flip that shit. And he'd be yeah. like, all right. And then like, it was crazy because uh, I worked at that st- the diamond store and then I went back to Barcelona for a little while. And next thing I know, yeah. They're all famous skaters, yeah. and Tyler's a famous rapper, and like yeah. Earl Sweatshirt, and all those dudes. Yeah. And I seen, I was in Spain. Cool. I saw them on Jimmy Fallon. I was like, what? Wow, I was like, crazy. what happened? <laughs> I was like, I was so proud, but I was like, yo, how did yeah. these yeah. were just little kids in the store like two years ago? It was like crazy. <laughs> That's but, so uh, sick. Yeah. Yeah, just... Sage actually lives like two blocks away from me. I see him like. Oh, in, dope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, it is the away. best. He's it's so funny, good. like coming from LA and seeing him as a little kid and now yeah. he's both live in New York. Like, I know, doing yeah. his own thing. <laughs> it's so dope. Hell yeah. So, who's your crew now? Like, now you're in New York, you're doing your thing. Like, who is your skate? Like, who are you skating with all the, all the time on the regular? I mean, more of the, the, some of the younger guys coming up, I'll skate with. But, um, I mean, pretty much just myself, unless someone, like, hits me up to go out skating with them. Mm-hmm. I'm just kind of a loner. I like to do my yeah. own thing. I like yeah. to wander around. Yeah. I feel that. You know, so, some people are not in that, I'm still in that phase where, like, let's go skate around. Like, let's skate from LAS to Midtown. Like, that's mm-hmm. still my vibe. And some people have grown out of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. If, yeah. You, if you ask me to do that, I'd be like, uh, I'll Uber over Yeah, there. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm still, like, in the I'll romantic. I'll Uber the XL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> found out about Uber. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I still, I still like. I'm yeah. sure I'll grow out of it soon. I'll be like, well, it's not for me. Yeah. But now I'm still like, yeah, I just want to skate around, yeah, find new things, and I don't know. I, I like. New York's a like, playground. Yeah, I just like. For I sure. love just walking around, skating around. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of fun. I whenever people come to town, like Sam Smythe or like the girl dudes, mm-hmm. like they're always like, meet us at this spot, and I'll go like push around with yeah. them, and I'll be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I remember like you just push around and, yeah, like, that's look, all- and look at ledges and cement. Yeah. Like, hey, check out this cement. <laughs> totally. <laughs> look at this thing and let's push another twenty blocks to this rail that we're and I'd be like, Oh yeah, yeah I don't yeah. really miss this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that we're like Like maybe I'll try to break yourself <laughs> off. Okay, never mind. I I sometimes I wonder, like if someone found my phone, they'd be like, Why does she have photos of like ledges and stairs? Like <laughs> I, probably, it's so weird because I'm like I'm looking at my phone I'm like why do I have all this mm-hmm. stuff yeah. but you know that's part of skating like mm-hmm. architecture but it's exciting when you find one. Oh, so exciting and then when you're gone from there you gotta think about getting back there and you're like oh like yeah. that's where yeah. but now we have the pin that's why you take a picture of it and you zoom in What's on your that? phone like the oh, pin oh the pin like when you're trying to oh, find yeah, a spot yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's so easy now I'm not good with the technology. I'm, I'm I old, take a you know. picture of the cross streets. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. like the cross streets out there. Oh, man, I'll just Google it. Mm-hmm. Oh, sick. <laughs> I should do that. <laughs> One thing about you that I like and that I always notice is that you have a lot of respect for, like, the old school skaters. Mm, okay. And, like, you know, like, not just even generations before me. Like, I remember seeing a picture of you with, like, you were stoked on, like, Julian. 
the stranger and oh. like you know all these yeah. like you know a lot of the younger people these days they're kind of like not not no fault of theirs yeah. but it's just hard to keep up with the things that happened in the past and the people that paved the way for the skaters but it seems like you have a like a pretty good knowledge of like of 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 the past skaters and like the people that came before you yeah i mean i just like i just love skate history you know what i mean i, just, I don't know i just i appreciate everything because at some point they had to do that so i can do this you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i just think they're just great like i don't know i i could just sit here and we could just we should have our own show about skate history because i could just sit here and talk about every like <laughs> trick somebody did on that yeah. or I, don't the know, nucleus. I, just <laughs> yeah, I just appreciate it well that's i mean i think that's super you know that's i respect that that's oh no, thank that's you great, yeah. yeah i mean i respect you guys you guys within for you like i i mean i wouldn't be able to be like oh like that's possible you know mm -hmm. like yeah it's just it's just cool like i mean that's what hyped me up skating like i think i would like i couldn't learn to kickflip i remember and i remember seeing like someone flipping like this boat with no nose and tail mm -hmm. so in my head i'm like I have a, like I have like, everything I need. Yeah. It should be just like, mm -hmm. and then it, that in my head was like, oh yeah, it's easier. Yeah. Because back then I don't know how they did that with those boards, but I like it, like they're insane. Like, like Chico, I don't know if you follow, you probably follow Chico, but he. Oh really, yeah, dude. Oh, I thought Chico's I saw him best. skating like a two by four. The like other how yeah. him and Gons <laughs> like. Yeah, they do all the tricks on. Yeah, they do all the tricks. every the perfect Nolly heel. Like, it's like uh, he's trying to like skate. The worst boards ever, but doing all the best the, tricks. The per on. And clean in the best style. <laughs> yeah. Pop team, like, oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Big dogs. It's sick. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, I remember going down to the pier, and you know how they say, like, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Mm -hmm. And people would do it a certain way there. Like, I seen LeVar just, like, roll up in some, like, hyper flights yeah. that, like, you see D boys rock. Yeah. And then he just like grabs someone's board. It's not even his board. And he'd be like, "Can I borrow your board?" And then just fucking do like a switch backside one eighty, like nose grind first try. Like you know what I mean? Like do all the craziest tricks. Like it's wild. But like just to be so steezy yeah. and do yeah. all that shit. And then you go other places, like maybe like the suburbs or wherever. And they're like, "Oh yeah, no, we skate these shoes and yeah. we do this and that." And then just being back home and being like, "Nah, yeah, like do we don't it. do it like that. It's crazy." I remember Lavar. He 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 once um, skated switch for a whole month. Yeah. <laughs> like push. Like he he switched his his like he yeah. was like I'm gonna skate switch like leave out the house and just like yeah. jump That's on the board dope. switch. So he like kind of like changed the way. He's basically what is it? Am, am Am ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. Yeah. ambidextrous He's on the board. Yeah. Damn. I think I saw him bombing a hill switch one yeah. time. And I thought it was crazy. <laughs> I was like, what is this dude doing? I was doing that for a minute, but it's hard. Like I try to skate the Wayneberg Bridge, just switch. Mm -hmm. I take it the the bike oh, side wow. switch. Wow. Really? Yeah, I would do that sometimes, but Yo, I mean, be careful. it's hard. It it's is. hard, but that's <laughs> sick that he could do that. <laughs> that's dope. But yeah, him and Marcus McBride. Oh Marcus is the man. Dude, Marcus McBride. Quiet is Storm. Oh yeah. Quiet Storm. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, him. Like that dude is yeah. so. Shout out to Marcus fresh. McBride. Yeah, I know. Shout out so Marcus. fresh, so steezy. So we all, me, Marcus, Lavar, we all grew up in the kind of like we went to school together. Oh yeah. Me and Marcus. We're in the same school, and then Carl Watson was in my middle school also. Okay. Nick Lockman, a bunch of people. So we all kind of like we lived in the same area. Pat yeah. Washington, a um, bunch of Shout dudes. Shout out Pat. Yeah. That's dope. Okay. Yeah. So we all kind of knew each other since uh, we were little kids. Little kids. Yeah. That's yeah. So sick. Was a nucleus right there. Those are the legends. Yeah. I was like, that's <laughs> like, yeah, we just went to school together. Like, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I remember being in like seventh grade, and Carl Watson came up to me. He was like, I saw. I think I saw you skating like yeah. around the streets. He's like, come to my house after school and like I'll give you some stuff. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. okay. He was already sponsored. Yeah. yeah. He was. I'm. I've met Carl. He like 30 years ago. He was already on Think Skateboards. Like, he was already a sponsored yeah. skater yeah. in like seventh grade. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. then he took me to Embarcadero that day, and like the rest is history. Damn. That's so <laughs> I mean, I actually. A funny Carl Dope story. story. Yeah. What do you got? Yeah, no, but it's like it's so. Carl's weird. hilarious. He's hilarious. It's. It's more of like, so I'm I'm in the internet age, mm -hmm. and I think I linked up with him playing Close Friends. I don't know if he remembers this. Mm. You guys remember Close, not Close Friends, Words with Friends. I don't know. It's the word. I know he I used to, you know what, Carl used to be it. big into Scrabble. Okay, it's, it's, it's like an online Scrabble yeah, yeah. game. So I remember linking up with him through that, and I think I met him, and I was, I was like, I remember being like, yo, if I beat you, you owe me a board. And he's like, all right, sure. 
Mm. Then I beat him, and Sick. I still have my board. <laughs> what was it like an Organica board? Yeah, it was a while ago. Oh, when yeah, I was little, dude. but I just think that was funny because uh, like he's always so generous. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Always a nice guy. But I don't think he would remember that. But Carl owes me a board. <laughs> oh, he owes you a board. He owes oh, me a board. Oh, he oh, I thought he gave you one. No, he owes oh, me yeah. one. He's probably gonna see. He, you're gonna one's gonna like show up at your house now. I know. Yeah. A stack of boards. Yeah. yeah. He's, Mark's, Max Allure is his thing now, right? Yeah, Max Allure. It's, so sick. And he's got, what's that little, what's the, what's the kid's name? Little Dre? Oh, Little, little Dre. Dre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That team is stacked. Dante yeah, yeah. on there. Yeah, a bunch of SF kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Young hitters. Sick. Yeah. They're really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. that, that team is sick. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm stuck for him. What uh, do you want to do? I got this. I got you wanted minutes trivia. Yeah. I got it for you. You want to get into it? <laughs> no, yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's hope you I can add, You jump yeah, in too. Help me out here. I'll help out with the ones that she can't because. <laughs> I was trying to like study this morning, but oh, you we'll see how it goes. All right, let's see what you guys got. Let's see. All right, the first one's a two-part question. Okay. <laughs> all right. We're going we'll I'll start try. off easy. I'll all right. All right. Who started Menace? Huh. This one's easy. Oh, Kareem. And who did he ride for at the time? Oh my gosh. When he not Menace, who did he ride for? In I the would beginning? say Alien Workshop. Oh uh, no, World <laughs> Industries. Yeah, World yeah. Industry, that's what I mean. So yeah. He started Menace, but then he was actually not. not he shot, wasn't on the team. He was like on. He was he, on World. Yeah, he was on World, but then yeah. for a long time he never. He didn't. He didn't ride for. He was still on World. That is some gangster. <laughs> like, that is so I sick. I meant to say uh, <laughs> Alien, uh, World Industry, but Alien Workshop came out <laughs> for some reason. But that's what I meant. Only that's what I meant. he could do that. I know. And maybe somebody else. But only, that's amazing. I heard the World Industry's like warehouse was like epic. Like Dude, everybody would be kicking it there. there. What, like they, it was like I heard stories from random people that were like, "Yo, I remember going back to the." I don't know if they had beds in there, but I know. I mean, I thought they had like bunk beds and like didn't the world. There park was a world. Skate, that was the World Park. The park, okay. Oh, so it yeah. wasn't attached to the... No, it wasn't attached. But they did have, like, boards and stuff and, like... Yeah. You could... The thing about in those days was, like, you'd go into World Industries and you'd just take a box of boards. Okay. Like, oh, yeah. 20 boards or something. 20? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, people that's, would go in there and just rob the place. That's people, wild. people overboarded it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I heard stories like yeah, that, Yeah, like, yeah. Javante would take, like... <laughs> Uh, he would be like, oh, uh, uh, blood. I'm about to take yeah. like a whole pe like thirty sets of wheels, yeah. and then just you know, <laughs> like yeah, everybody would just like loot the place. Yeah, just loot it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, candy. people's mind states are different back in the day too. Yeah, like, we're like, oh, come up, come up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying that I was in yeah. that era, but like you know, well, I could see it though. I mean. I wish I could do that. But that's what you. Uh, that's how skaters lived in those days. You would yeah. sell half of your pro half okay, of your product. Okay, that makes more sense. Exactly. Yeah. Fools would come down to the pier with yeah. the boards they got, and they would sell them. And some people would get kicked off the team because they were selling their boards and shit. <laughs> like they were like, "You can't do that. Those are your boards." Yeah. And be like, "Wait, nah, nah. That's how I make money." Like. That's well, gnarly. Kent from FTC was like, "Don't go," because he, he he's a sh sh skate yeah. Shop. So he's like, <laughs> shout "I'll out buy." It. Shout out to Kent <laughs> FTC. He was like, "I'll buy this stuff off of you. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. go." sell it on the street, the street. Yeah. so we would like we would get our packages and then we'd go sell half of the package uh, to, to the shade shop that's sick yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about pierre man chef oh pierre. yeah chef pierre he's the homie the, the one wheel you know that story <laughs> no nah, i don't know that one like he would get like like i guess he like i don't know where he stayed i don't want to speak about like where he lived or whatever but like i guess they would flow him but there was like a one wheel at the uh spitfire wheels or something there was like the one wheel um little like bin mm -hmm. and he would just go and uh, swoop up all the one wheels and then or the three wheels or something and <laughs> sell them but he would make one fake one to match the missing one that was wheatberry he carved it out of a potato that's yeah, it, wheatberry okay that yeah. i heard that shit in the Shout microphone out wheatberry. he's still running right he now he's car still he had three wheels and yeah. he carved one Sorry out of that. a potato this yeah. is a legendary san francisco story so he carved yeah. one so one it was actually a potato yeah. And he was like, I don't know if he actually sold it to anybody, but he was like going around the city trying to sell it. That's tight. like have the little like fake yeah. potato wheel on the bottom. Because it was that small that <laughs> That right? man is epic. Yeah. That man is so That's epic. hilarious. <laughs> he's still <laughs> kicking right now. Yeah. Man, he's still going. He's around, around right? Yeah. Only in <laughs> I think like maybe three years ago I was out there and I looked up and he was partying with all mm -hmm. of us like wilding. Like, I was like, damn, dude. Big old wheat berry. <laughs> all right. Second question. What were the name changes for Menace? Okay, so there's M and M and C, right? 
Okay. Yeah. And then City Stars? That's one. There's one more. Uh, Ooh. All City? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. I, I do. I fucking I love you guys. <laughs> no, I remember, yeah. 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 That is true. <laughs> All right. Third question. What was the name three or more skaters that were on the City Stars team? Oh. That's okay. pretty easy, actually, I guess. Is that City Shirt? P Rod? P Rod. Kevin? Long? Spanky? Spanky. This Big man. Spanks? Who? You. Were you yeah, on the City right. Stars team? Not me. Besides me. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> I need one more. Oh. A weird Mikey Taylor. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought that was so weird. No, I was like, but he was like running with you guys back then, huh? Who, Mikey Taylor? Yeah. Yeah. He was like, Kareem, Kareem like found all those kids in the valley. What was, oh, Mikey's from the valley? Yeah. Was Eric Papecki on there too? Eric Papecki was on Menace. Yeah. And Menace. He's yeah. like one of the OGs. Yeah. He's one of the OGs yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. He's sick. I thought it was going to be bad guy. at this, but I guess it's here. You got it all. Well, I got some more nuanced questions coming or, for you. Like this one. Which two menace riders have been in prison? Oh. oh. <laughs> so, Fabian. Yeah. One. Boom. There's two, though. Ooh. <laughs> I'll give you oh, a clue. I know, because he's a homie, Steven. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I remember him. I, I remember him. I remember a video, and they watched, and he was talking about he had he was on probation. Yeah. And he snuck away. That's uh, how he got on that uh, trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's sick. <laughs> sick. That's what? good trip. Yeah, he yeah. always he's always commenting on my videos. So yeah, 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 he's sick. He's the homie for sure. Um, all right, you're probably gonna get this one pretty easily. This is just a shout out to all the people. What New York skater who was really little at the time w and was in the movie Kids was oh. Am for Menace? I just saw him like, <laughs> every day. Wow. Shout Hobbs. out to Javi Hobbs. He's the best. I yeah. <laughs> he's the homie. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now he's big Hobbs and smoking yeah. cigars with Nas in LA. Big guy. Yeah. <laughs> so sick. I do leveled up. Yeah, as he should. <laughs> for sure. All right, here's a more, a more little nuanced question. Right. What L.A.-based street gang is Fabian Alomar's family affiliated with? Oh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> he, I, the hairy one. I think I know, too. Wait, you say it then. Uh, I think Florencia? No. Florencia? No? I heard... It's a big one. 18? It's in... Is it? It's 18th Street. 18. Hey, thank you. You came through. I did not know. I did not know that. Big 18th Street. Yeah. That's kind of, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I, I don't I hell that. yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm not 18th Street guy. That's a huge, yeah. That's some next level shit. Yeah. What, uh, what LA, this is one is easy. What mm -hmm. LA school was uh, most of the Minutes video shot in? Is that Lockwood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to skate there so bad. I have yet I to skate too. there. Do I people still go there? there? I remember, like, I people there was a while a few years ago that, like, a lot of people were going there. It right? was a thing, maybe, uh -huh. like, 2017. Mm -hmm. But, I, don't, I mean, someone told me I was just out in L.A. They are like, no one's really skating picnic tables right now. Why? They're not cool anymore? I don't know. Oh, I'm like, I want to skate man. them. Too. I saw Elijah Burley just did a... Impossible nose one slide across a picnic table. Jeez. Oh, yeah. That, that was, oh, yeah. Sick. That was sick. <laughs> I want to go to Lockwood. I have yet to be there. Yeah. Damn. I, should, I didn't go to any schools when I was out there. Really? Where, yeah. where are people skating at? I don't know. Spots now? You mm. know what you got to do? While everybody is trying to go skate everything else, yeah. go body Lockwood and just get all the tricks <laughs> there mm. and then film them and then be mm -hmm. like, I don't know what you guys are doing. Like, I'm just bodying Lockwood. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I should You know, like, really go for it. No. Those tables I think you got them a little, like, th those are, like, doable tables, oh, you know? Oh, yeah. I've, yeah. I've, I have 50 a higher table than that, so those yeah. are, they're mellow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You got that. All right. Which song was used in the first Menace montage? Oh, shit. Fuck. This is a mm. hard one. Do you know, Jacob? Like, which song? What do you mean? Like, like what was the song? It was like a... All right. I'll give you a clue. It's like... Because there's a good Coast, music. East Coast hip-hop. All the old school heads are probably watching this like, oh, these are so easy. Whoa, <laughs> I wasn't even born then. So like. That's what I'm saying. Like, all the dudes my age yeah. are like, yeah. Damn, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to, yeah. Yeah, I'm blanking too. Whoa. Yeah. Method Man. Oh. Re release Yo Delph. Ooh. That's what it was. Yeah. But though, no. I feel like. I believe that's what it was called. When I first stepped on the scene. Yeah. 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 Damn. Yep, it was that song. I wish I would have known that. Yeah. Okay. Because there was good music in that. 
I got an, I got another one for you. What menace skater is now a pastor? Oh, Joey. Joey Surreal. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's news. Yeah. Shout out to Joey Surreal. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. He's over there preaching the good word. Respect. All right. What menace skater is from Rhode Island? Rhode Island. Oh, is that Eric? Eric Pupacki. He's from Rhode Island? He is? Yeah. I thought he was from NYC. That's nope, Cuddy. I didn't know that. He's from Rhode Island, yeah. He's Rhode Island. I thought Island he was like Island. randomly from LA. Really? No, <laughs> yeah. he's, got, he's got like a New York swag to him. Yeah. That's how I was like. That's why he was on the team. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he got on the yeah. men's team because he got that swag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta have a little swag. Yeah. No, no, facts, no, that's fine. That's, that's how it is. <laughs> know what I mean? That's dope. <laughs> who, who owned like all of Menace, World Industries, everything? Oh, the, is that Steve Rocco? Yeah, Steve Rocco. He's <laughs> did you ever watch that documentary about him? Yes, I did. <laughs> For a while, I wrote his name on my skateboard. Oh, so yeah? I was like, he owned skating. <laughs> I know. He was like the man. I think he just like moved to Hawaii, like bought a little island in did Hawaii. He? And like, wow. wow. An island? Wait, does, like is a he tiny s- island. Does he do skating or, at all still? Or is he just kind of like, like... does he skate? No, like... Um, oh, is he involved in yeah. skating? You know what? I really don't know. Interesting. I don't know. Well, I mean, he's done enough. <laughs> I know, it's always fun and surprising, like, I don't know, maybe when I get older, it'll, it'll happen to me, but, like, I just don't see how people can just, like, leave it. Like, you, you're you so ingrained in it when you're, like, how do you just, like, oh, yeah. that was what that was. I, don't I know. mean, I don't know. After, like, 20, 30 years, maybe you're just ready to do something else. Who knows? Probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he kind of had a fall from grace for sk- from skating <laughs> also as, Ooh. as well. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean he's done a lot. Yeah. 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 The doc- yeah, the documentary will <laughs> tell you that. What na- what it. NYC neighborhood was Kareem Campbell born in? Oh. I'm going to guess Queens. Harlem. Uptown, Harlem. baby. Because okay. you know what That's tripped dope. me out? I, I thought he was from, I had a debate with my friend. I thought he was from L.A. Mm-hmm. And I was like, naming L.A. skaters? Mm-hmm. No, I was, I was naming kids who came out of New York. And this it was very small. Yeah. And someone's like, Kareem. I'm like, Kareem's not from New York. I mean, he never like, he when he... As a kid, he wasn't. He started skating in L.A. Okay, so he didn't start skating here. No, he didn't start skating. He was like born here, and I don't remember how long he was living here. But then they, his family moved to L.A. See, that helps my kids because I was, I was trying to be like, yo, there's only like a couple kids who, born and raised here, grew up skating here, mm-hmm. and like are pro. Yeah. And someone was like Kareem. I'm like, I swear he's L, like L.A. He's guy. more of a. I would say he's more of an L.A. skater, but he has roots in NYC. But he was born yeah. here. So. I remember coming here with him and like his cousins and and like going uptown to like 125th Street, Yo, and, like, huh. going That's shopping dope. and shit. And I was just like a little grom, like yeah, like boys. Yeah. Like, Yo, this is crazy. Like 125th. Yeah. No, when did he cool. move out there? You think? He moved out there when he was probably like he went to high school out there okay. yeah so he probably moved out there when he was like i don't know 10 or 11. i have no okay. idea don't quote me on that but his formative years were spent in la okay cool. some yeah, kind cool. of like ism probably stuck with him you know and yeah. he's just like still thinking that way you know same thing with with too short he's from la but he's reps the base yeah. super hard like exactly that's just like, yeah i mean from i mean all i can tell you is from videos like i've never really mm-hmm. seen uh, he just looked like a you know L.A. dude. Mm-hmm. I'm like that's cool. Yeah, I, d- I remember looking that up and seeing he was from Harlem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. All right, this one's kind of random. What was the skate car of the '90s for like that was cool for a pro skater to have? I'm gonna say. <laughs> Ooh, I, I think I know. Wait, wait, you say because I already know. Uh, wait, let me wait, let me. Um. Because I, I for sure know. Because I want one now. Um, you you have ahead, one now? No, I, I want one. Oh, you want one? I gotta think of the name. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Is it a Cadillac? Uh, no, that was like a little, that was like the 2000s. That's 2000s? Yeah. Um, nice. all my friends that are like love, car lovers are going to hate me, but I, I can't think of it. It has like a, it has like a back bed to, to it. You know what I mean? Like a truck bed kind Damn. of. What, like a Monte um, Carlo? Monte Carlo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No? Wait. It was, a, it was like a, uh, every pro skater had like a black lowered Honda Civic. Did they? Oh like my rims. goodness. Yes. yes. <laughs> that yes. was like the thing. Honda Civic with rims? Kareem had a black Honda Civic with rims on it. Yeah. And then like the, mo, like the Momo muffler. Let me, let me ask you, like, with a uh, pair of Jordans in the back <laughs> and, a, and a gray's hat that you switch up. Oh, yeah. Skating? Yeah. Damn, yeah. let's see. I didn't say Honda <laughs> Civic. Let's say. Yeah, what? that's the hatchbacks. Yeah. What skate company was actually the first all black and Latino team that Fabian and Joey rode for before Menace? Ooh. Mm. 
Mm-mm. I'm Can't thinking. Be that one, though, man. I want to say chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't around then. Let me see. Uh, is it that like no, not eighty twenty? Yeah, that's a throwback. Um, it was a Mark Gonzalez company. Really? Really? It was all black and Latino, but it was never marketed in that way. So nobody ever thought about it. No, like really that. saw it like what? that. What? Yeah. Damn. I'm I think it was probably the only all, like. like Is black it his and company brown. now? No, no. It's not it vision. was another another name, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I don't even know. It's not That's vision. Crazy. I thought he had. No, sixty forty. Sixty forty. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. I said eighty twenty. <laughs> I was. I knew oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, I said eighty oh, twenty. Were, so then you were yeah. on the right track. Numbers, you yeah, have the but yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were on the right track. Then. I didn't know. I. Sw- I thought someone there was no white person on because I was like maybe I'm there was no true. no there was all like Latinos and black people on there it was like That's me sick. Ron Chapman Fabian Joey Steven, um Gino Perez Damn. Long Beach Larry was that uh, the first sad one? sad was on there oh, dude I miss seeing that full shit mm. stuff I don't know if you remember that dude sad Mm-mm, with the know. pocket with the uh, the white <laughs> hanging out of his pocket <laughs> remember that yeah yeah he dude, was like the homie strange. he was from like he was from like South Central dude, yeah. well, what was it, what, what's the numbers again sixty forty sixty forty okay. yeah look yeah. him up S A D He's like so unique. He's like his own person. I'm gonna go see that when I go mm-hmm. home. Well, he, his his he called himself sad, and it stood for simple as death. Okay. Wow. I don't know. He was on some weird shit. He stood out in four on ones though. Yeah, he used he to be in like out. mad four on ones. Four on ones used to be the the jam. I used to watch. So, I used to be so hyped when the new mm. one came out. What uh? All right, I know you. This is a silly one. You're already gonna get this because you already said it earlier. What was the name of the city stars video? The city shows video? Yeah. <laughs> was it all city? No, you you said it earlier. Wait. You just watched it. Oh yeah, did you? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Street cinema. Street cinema. Oh yeah, I just watched it yesterday. Yeah, that's. That's actually that's love a good name. The yeah. first video I saw on TV. I don't remember if you know what Fuel TV was. Yeah, Fuel TV. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't have it at my house, but my aunt had it because she had like the extended pack channels. Mm-hmm. And I'd go over, and like go watch that channel. And I remember that was the first like maybe like full video I saw because mm-hmm. it was after like the Casey and whatever show. I remember the screen. Captain and Casey show. Captain Casey show. I was on that show once. Oh, sick! But they gave like they would they would they would put whiskey in these um, coffee cups. That I didn't even they realize that. So trash on that show. It was like crazy. Damn. I did not realize that. That, yeah, <laughs> that just ruined my childhood. <laughs> so, yeah, cool. but I just remember like for some reason the screen went black and they played that whole video mm. yeah on mm-hmm. that channel that day and i'm like damn i know that's the first time i saw skateboarding like on a big screen mm. not like just on the computer mm-hmm. yeah okay that well, that's all my questions you guys did pretty good out to people yeah. like that are part of that little group that we were talking about like people mm-hmm. that pay attention to that yeah. kind of stuff yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, and you're cool with Billy Valdez. How did you guys? I saw we were talking about that earlier a little bit, but like I saw that on your Instagram. Like, how, yeah. th- how did you guys meet each other? I don't remember. I think I just, either I met him in LA or he just like saw my skating or something like that. But I just remember just hitting him up and like, like you down to skate and like he's always been chill. Yeah. yeah, he was just out here in New York and we just like kicked it for a bit. He's out here with his girl and stuff. That's cool. cool yeah. yeah, I haven't seen him in like. More than 15 years, probably. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah he's doing good, though. You guys should have a reunion. I know. <laughs> That'd be sick. I'm right here. That's, your, that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Invoice you, you guys producer, as soon. <laughs> I get you a producer credit yeah. on that one. <laughs> get the old band back together. That'd be sick. I mean, I'd love to watch that. Just hear stories. That, that might go. It would. Because it kind of came back around. Like, uh-huh. people were paying attention about that, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That might go. Let's talk more about your shoes. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Can you, Do you look at that? these things? So this is the this one came out. This is the in, Ave colorway. Mm-hmm. This one came out in January. This just is this out yet? This is out. It, it, I mean, it's um it should be in skate shops soon next week or so. Like is this a this is a pro model? This is a skate shoe. This is a yeah colorway skate shoe. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I could tell you the stories on both shoes and like how they came to be. Yeah, let's the, start with the Ave one first. Okay. Yep. So I was um, 
his so that's Anthony's pro mm-hmm. shoe, and um, his shoe came out 2019 August, and I was rocking it a lot beforehand, mm-hmm. and I guess um, I don't know everyone at marketing thought I was I looked good in them or whatever, and I remember one day. Zach and Frank, the people like the guys at Vans, they had me for breakfast, and they both hit me up at the same time. But they didn't know that each other were in town, and mm-hmm. I was like, "I'm getting kicked off." Is that uh, what you thought? Yeah, that's what I thought. Were I was you like, like really worried? I wasn't worried, but I was like, "It is what it is." <laughs> like they're taking me to my favorite restaurant, Egg in Brooklyn, right oh, up okay, the street. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the French toast there is fire. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh boy. Oh, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. I go there, and I'm just like, "Can I just order first? And they start laughing because I'm like. You guys are gonna just kick me off. Just let me know, cause you said that. Yeah, and and Zach was like, "B, come on," or whatever. And he's like, "Dude, no. We want to talk to you about giving you potential." So it was to- actually the complete opposite. Complete opposite. <laughs> oh, yeah. and, I mean, thankfully. Uh-huh. But you know, he's like, "I oh, know. We just want to talk about you. Like, give me a colorway on Anthony's shoe." And I'm just like, "What?" You're like, well, "Wait, wait, say that again." Yeah, I was tripping <laughs> out, and um, yeah, so. After that, I was like, wow, really? He was, yeah, he's like, Abe think it would be sick. We think it'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. And I we see you've been wearing it. And I was wearing, I mean, I still do wear that. That's like my go-to skate shoe. Mm-hmm. Like, you should do something on it. I'm like, this is insane. Like, that's awesome. And that night, I just went home and started, like, figuring out colors, figuring out how I wanted to look, like, design-wise. And mm-hmm. it's from there. And that's how that started. What's the story? What was your thought process when you were coming up with, like, how you wanted it to look and everything? I mean, first starters, I mean, I I wanted it to look chill. Like, I love, like... So, at the time, I was drinking, I mean, I was drinking uh, Perrier a lot. Mm-hmm. So, that's, like, the color that's where that came from, Perrier mm-hmm. bottle. Mm-hmm. So, I had one in my room, and I was like, I was like damn, this would be sick on like the shoe or whatever. And at the time I was running the white ones, the cocaine white ones, the mm-hmm. pure ones. And I was like, I like this one the best to me. So I kind of wanted kind of like that, but obviously not exactly like that. So I took the color from the bottle and then I had a bed sheet that I grew up like sleeping on when I was little. And I'm like, and just like, you know, I'm really romantic when it comes to like, dream about skating, dream about being someone someday, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, when you go to bed at night, you so, <laughs> I want to be, yeah, like, you know, like as a kid, you know, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. so I'm like, well, if that'd be cool, you ma- that's manifesting your, yeah, manifesting your destiny, so I'm like, how about I just put the pattern of the bed sheet on the side, okay, so that's where the flowers, oh, that's, that that's where the flowers come from, oh. the floral, oh. yeah, it's floral, oh, wow. yeah, okay, okay, it's a floral, <laughs> Oh, that's from my bed sheet when I was a that's kid. That's amazing. Yeah. And then, you know, obviously, as skateboarders, we're all a little bit narcissistic. And that's where the pattern most of my name at the bottom comes from. Most human beings are <laughs> so, to a certain degree. You know, I had to put my name in there somewhere. So <laughs> I mean, it's your colorway. That's yeah. what you're supposed to do. Like, eh. So, yeah. So, and then, um, yeah, and that was it. And I, I would, like, send them pictures. And I, I drew everything out first. I would just text it to the guys at, like, the shoe design place. And we talked about it for a while. Like, um, we worked on it for, like, a year. And then I've been I've been skating. I skated them through all 2020. I've had them. Mm-hmm. Just testing them out. Yeah, it's been, it's just been like that. Nice. I'm at, yeah, they're great. Yeah. 2019, I would I'd go to L.A. And, like, like I, you know, when I, get in, I know it's just a colorway, but when I get into something, I really get into something. So I'd go to the to the... To the vans and and Santa, like Costa Mesa, mm-hmm. and I just take design classes with Daz over there and just learn about how shoes oh, work dope. and skating, yeah, yeah. like the last, like how your foot fits. Like I just want to know like stuff like that. So I took advantage of that. So when I was not skating, I would just go into the design, room, amazing, see colors oh. and just hang out with them and pick their brains about things because I was really into making like the best thing possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I love the story with the That's bed great. sheet and like yeah. I love how you you know you you went all in. You're like, okay, you give me a color. A lot of people would be like, you know, uh, just I like this, I like that. Just put it on there, like yeah. pay, pay me my money. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> me it's like when I because now when I see it, it just it takes me back to all that stuff. Uh, and my mom always like told me like they could like they could have asked me to design an aglet, the standing of the shoe. Like mm-hmm. you do your best you can. On yeah. that. You never know, you know. So I just try to do my best in everything I put my you name on. You do a really good job hey, too I respect because that. it looks off white, 
But when you look at it, you have to look super close. That's what I wanted. I wanted kids to like, ooh, 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 and then you go into the store and be like, oh my god, like Mm. there's stuff here. Like, take a look at it. You know what I mean? So I always like stuff like that where you don't really see it for value, and then you see it in person. You're like, whoa, this Mm. is sick. Like you know, something to look at when you're in the skate shop. There's the walls are bare now. Yeah. You go in, you analyze it, all black shoes. I want kids to go into the shop and be like, you know, it takes them five minutes to look at the shoes. Yeah. Something yeah. to do, you know? That's kind of how I wanted it to be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. And so this is the new loaf. This is your new colorway. Okay, yeah. Is this a new, is this an existing silhouette? So or? this is, this is actually a really funny story, um, how this came to be. So this is a Style 53. It's a, mm-hmm. a Vans vault shoe, but we changed it to skate. Okay. So you could skate these. Mm. So, you know, this is, this is funny. There's actually a good story on this one. So when they gave me that, I, I love to wear um, a different shoe, a loafer. Mm-hmm. And I remember just... Like a real loafer. Like a real loafer. That's just how I was raised. Night, like you're styling out at night, yeah. you're like... Yo, yeah. I so I, I'd go into the... When I'd go to my meetings for that shoe, I'd dress up because that's how I was raised. Like when you're doing something outside of activity, you dress up. Mm-hmm. And I think someone was like, does she not like... Does she not like our shoes? And I'm like, <laughs> no. How I was raised is like when you're doing some business or like church or something, you dress up because yeah. that's just how I was raised. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what, guys? Like, so I heard that and I was like, so you know what? Like, you guys know how I like to wear loafers. Can we do something with this but skate? And they're like, you know what? You can. Mm-hmm. So when that took off, I was like, all right. So I found the Style 53. It's more of a women's shoe. It had like a heel on it or whatever. Mm-hmm. And we just deconstructed it okay. and made it more of a skate-friendly shoe. And so, yeah, it was. Just, this just came from my love of just, like, trying to be presentable when I go out. But okay. now it's like a van shoe. All right. Yeah, so same pattern. I like that. Yeah, floral on there. And then... Um, you got the best of both worlds. Yeah. It's so like a classy skate shoe. Exactly. You can chill in it. You can skate in it. It's kind of how Dylan's shoe was back in the day. Yeah, exactly. Like That's kind of how I won because, like, we do go out a lot. You know, mm-hmm. before COVID, we did go out a lot. Mm-hmm. And, like, not, like, I don't know, things like this, like, even the show, like, I'm glad I could dress up now mm-hmm. in my shoe. So it's cool. <laughs> Is this shoe out yet? It should be. It, it was out online, but it should be at Supreme and mm-hmm. FA. Okay. On store and in store and online. But, yeah, it should be up by now. Is that your uh, pattern again? Yeah, same pattern. Yeah, same that's your pattern. signature yeah. now. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. All of them. This is not on the shoe though, but like, yeah, we green at the bottom. See, they kind of, it is green uh-huh. at the bottom, but they kind of go with together. Like, if this you isn't on the, you added this? No, this is, yeah, this is like, this was, was supposed to be on it, but it's not. Oh, okay. So, but yeah, these th- are like the hot, limited one of ones. Yeah, one of ones. Okay. But like, this has a story too, because I have a chain like this uh-huh. that I rocked when I first got, when I, Got a little money. <laughs> Bought myself yeah, yeah. a nice chain of <laughs> Nefertiti on oh, it. Oh, okay. So, you still have it? Yeah, I'm not wearing it today, but okay. um, I still have it. But I put that on there. Just, you know, just sh- I like to just show my, remind myself, like, when I look down, like, damn, like, I came from that. And, um, uh-huh. You know? Yeah. Just, okay. it's really for me. For that's progress. what's up. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So, that's yeah. what's up. I'm kind, of sick. I'm kind of stoked how the shoes came out. I'm glad people like them. People mm-hmm. seem stoked on them. So. I mean, super cool. <laughs> yeah. respect thank you yeah. thank you so what's next with everything are you working on like a video part or i mean that's the goal Hopefully, mm-hmm. I could, I mean, that's my main focus so now the shoes are done i put a lot of effort into those last year so this goal this year is just to film and skate and stack and wherever the footage goes it goes but that's definitely my goal like i'm out almost every day skating i mean yeah. like i was before but like i'm filming mm-hmm. yeah so that I mean just skating filming with bill yeah, Bill, and then some other filmers. Um, we got some filmers, some FA filmers in Cali I've been filming with. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I saw on your Twitter you were like, I'm about to drop a video part on all you clones. I'm about to take all you clones out the game. Wait, oh, what no. did you say? I have it right Wait, here. do you have a Twitter? Yeah, take oh. them out. I, I, I can be on Twitter. I, you know, I look around. Oh, no. I was, I'm just kidding. Like, B, take I'm going to drop B. this video part. It's going to take all these clones out the game. Originals will only survive. I said what I said. <laughs> what are you? I don't have to say anything else. Oh, look, we got something. <laughs> Oh, they you. like the shoes. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. It's sick. That's what's up. Oh, look. Yeah. Great interview. Oh, hell yeah. That's rad. <laughs> That's what's yeah. up. 
you know. About to take these clones out the game. I yeah, take, take them out. These out the game. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it on these clones yeah. out here. You'll see. You're gonna see. Say less. And I just Say less. It, you know? Exactly. <laughs> why, why, after this happens, there's even more clones. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. The yeah. more clones, the more the better. Exactly. The, more, the, the better you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, sometimes like, I swear people don't read what I write, but damn, they do. Hey, nice man. Lit. Once it's out there in the I in know. the universe, I need to it's calm live. down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's live. That's cool. I'm looking forward to it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm working. I'm putting my best foot forward. You know. Mm-hmm. I really want it. That's what I really want. Yeah. Yeah, the video part, cause that's where that's where that's where skateboarding is for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not a contest. I wish I could be a contest person. Like I, I just hear I, I'm skating good. In you the ever practice. see Guy Mariano in a contest? No. Or day one song. Oh, that's true. Some, yeah. It's not for everybody. True. Yeah. True. Mm-hmm. And growing up, too, I would always have, like, the little group of homies, and then they'd be so sick at skating. And yeah. then when it came, like, oh, we're going to go to the contest. I'm going to be in this contest. Just blow it. And yeah. throwing your board, breaking it, like, falling, yeah. really hurting yourself. The moment they call my name, I just, I don't know. I forget all the tricks I know how to do. And then my heart's just, like, racing. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. What contest have you skated in? I skate. I used, I used would skate all those coming up contests. Like, okay. uh, I mean, Element had that make account contest oh, yeah. when I was growing up. Um, just like these girl contests too. I think I did do tour once. I might not. Have, I got invited, but I, don't, I think I was so scared to even go. Did you do Tampa ever? No. no. I always wanted to, but now I'm like, I'm not doing. That. Yeah. There's no point for me to do that. I just know that's not my thing. But I'd push it a lot and be like, maybe I'm just to have enough experience. Yeah. But I'm like, nah, this is just it's not. It's just for not for people. everybody. Yeah. yeah Tampa's I can't do them. I, mean, I would like, go to those though. I, would think. I love watching them. Like I would. I remember, um, my mom would like, all right, you, you want to go see the Am one or the Pro one? You get yeah, to you're pick. Like, uh... Yeah, the pro Take one. Me to the pro. <laughs> <laughs> and we drive up there four hours. So you would go to t- you would go to all the Tampa contests? Not all of them, but like. Maybe every other year, mm-hmm. and my mom would let me. Like, she'd drive me up to Tampa, and we'd watch for a day or two. Damn, your mom is the homie. Yeah, your yeah. mom really hooked it. I want to meet her. Yeah, she she really she really loved. Like, yeah, she was really good at that stuff. Like, That's what's up. Yeah, Our, we took. I remember, we took our old Toyota Corolla. Mm-hmm. It, like, it almost heated up to you on the way, but we made it work. Put water on, like you know, <laughs> like you know, when your car starts heating up. But yeah. Yeah, I owe it a lot to her. Why I'm here, and she's very supportive and like. Always kept me like, That's you can cool. do anything you want, you know. Shout out to moms. Yeah, always <laughs> big goat. <laughs> what um, I wanted to ask you, not yeah, like, do sure. you feel that like women in the in skateboarding get like the respect they deserve, or how do you feel? It's been labeled as like some people say it's kind of a boys' club, but uh, okay. what is your take on that? All that. I mean, I feel like I have a different perspective of that because I can see where women would get intimidated, or um, mm-hmm. I feel like. I don't know. I feel like people, I feel like the girls who are intimidated don't know skating. Mm-hmm. Like, enough to be like, if you, like, this interview would be so intimidating to me if I didn't, if I wasn't confident in what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Like, I know skating just as much as you do, not of just because you're a boy, you know, no, or a man. You're a so skater, that's all. Yeah, it's like yeah. you're a skater. So, I feel like, they're, they're, I get I get the factor of like not feeling like included, but like include make yourself included. Mm-hmm. Like learn about yeah. it. You care about it. Like mm-hmm. if like if you care about skating, you're a skater. Like you're in it. Yeah. But I, I mean, there are gonna be some people who weed you out or whatever. That's just them. Like you can't. You're not gonna move me out of it. Cause I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And this is my this is my thing as much as this is theirs. You know. One hundred percent. So yeah, I, but I totally get where some girls can come off like. Skateboarding is intimidating for everybody. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. I don't think they know that. I, yeah. I realize that now that you guys are pretty sensitive. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, yeah. doing the skate club stuff? Yeah. Oh, doing the skate club stuff? I tell the parents that, too. Yeah. Like, it helps through the days, you know? Through yeah. the, like, it helps. Like, when you fall, it's up to you to be like, am I going to get up and mm-hmm. try this again? Totally. Or am I going to just give up? You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. No, it's true because... um. Yeah, no, you're exactly <laughs> right. Like, that's. I mean, when I roll up to the skate park, like I'm intimidated. Same. I'm, I'm oh, like yeah. a 42 year old man. Like, uh, well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, is, is it, it's, but that doesn't mean that people's feelings aren't valid. Yeah, not at all. Not to but, take away. Yeah, but skateboarding is intimidating for everyone. It is. Yeah. But you know, when I get there, I'm like, 
one, I just tell myself, like any girl watching, like you get to the park, it is one, everyone falls. Whether you're Nigel or the next kid just coming mm-hmm. up, mm-hmm. everyone takes a slam. Mm-hmm. And two, it's it's just it's a toy. It's a toy. Yeah, don't take it that seriously. Yeah, it's yeah. a toy. So yeah. just have fun it with it, you know, don't be too stressed out about it. Mm-hmm. But what do you think is there are there things you think the skate industry could do better to like promote females in skateboarding or just do better in general in support of like women in skateboarding? Well, I think like one communication just in general in skateboarding. Mm-hmm. Skateboarders need to communicate better with each other. Okay. Just in general. But as like but that's just a human thing. Human yeah. beings just suck at communication. That's what it, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm like say what you say and Yeah. You know, Unless but they're comfortable. Yeah. Then they, then they communicate. Then they over communicate. Yeah, you're just like, oh, that's too much. You're like, bro, would you shut up? <laughs> but, um, no, but um, so to help women more, like, I feel like they're doing. A, I feel like it's slowly coming, doing a good job. I, I feel like they're doing a great job. I mean, maybe like, as as like great it is as they might think it is. Like, let's not do tokens. The mm-hmm. one girl on the team, mm-hmm. your one writer, like that stuff is weird. Like yeah. you put her on because she deserves to be on. Mm-hmm. Regardless, it's like we need a girl. Like that's I do not like hearing that. Mm-hmm. Like it's probably like that's probably the least thing Jason did, I think, when he put me on. He didn't even think like that. Mm-hmm. He was just like, You're sick, you're getting better, it's time to like move you up. Not like we need a girl, where is she? It was mm-hmm. just like She's in the mix. Like with any the boy. girl who find me a girl. Exactly. It's more about it's not yeah. about it's just about you as a skater. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm in the mix. I was skating with the boys and it's like, well, it's time for her to like move up to the next level. Like that's just she treat me like a regular skater. Like I mean, like the whole like token thing is just weird. Like, it is weird. Yeah. 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 Even with like people of color too. It's mm-hmm. like you put them on because they deserve to be on mm-hmm. and they're they're good at what they do and mm-hmm. they bring something different to the team of course yeah yeah, yeah. no well said sure. you bring your own individuality too like yeah. you you already like really care about that so that's like unique already like. Well, I mean, and thank you jacob like i mean i try to but that's how i grew up skating like see brings like if you're different like i mean that's where we go like no one else is going to take us mm-hmm. <laughs> you know yeah. so it's like that's where you get in where you like fit in uh, pretty much, yeah. but yeah, totally. We're like misfits that like went have some type of like stuff. <laughs> we have good clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. And like, people start to realize that we dress cool instead of like exactly. You know? <laughs> what female skaters in the game are you like close to? Do you do you keep in touch with like on the vans, like girls on we were like on the team yeah. or? I mean, I mean, I haven't seen them in a while, so mm-hmm. in a year, but um. Alyssa will text me, check on me sometimes, yeah. which is cool. So like, shoot me a text. She's happy birthday, or like how I'm doing. She's she's, old, gr- she's rad. She's rad. She's pretty cool. But yeah, um, I was just out there. I skated with my home girl who skates. Yeah, I just haven't seen Jill. T- Sorry to interrupt. J- her? Jillian. Like, oh, Jillian. How'd you meet her? Mm, she's she told me she's gonna watch. So what's up? Uh, <laughs> she might be a co-host at yeah. one some point in time. Shout Jolene. out Jolene. Yeah, she told she's me gonna she... come in. And come on at some point. Sick. Um, I think just do skating. You know, it's very sm- skateboarding small in general. Yeah. And then women skating just gets smaller. Mm-hmm. So I guess she's a very that. like special girl too. Like oh, she yeah. was like, she I mean, told not me, like, that she know. worked at Autumn. Like yeah. yeah, she told me all that stuff. Like, but yeah. at the pier, she was like the. I remember having the same actions as her, yeah, having she, the same yeah, board t- as her, totally. like, you know, just choose with the program. Yeah, like, she was early, sick. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, I just met her through skating, just life, just being in New York. Mm-hmm. She probably recognized your swag and well, was like, oh, this girl's cool. Yeah, hell yeah. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, man. Yeah, I mean, um, I really like the girl that's on Vans that skates for girl Bri- Bri- Brianna. Oh, Bri- Breezy. Yeah, Breezy. she's sick. Yeah, she's, she's on girl. Right. She's on girl yeah. in Vans, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's steezy. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Cool. She's I think she's from like Vancouver or something. Yeah, from Canada. Mm-hmm. I believe so. That's cool, man. So, like, uh, you were traveling a lot before this COVID hit. You were where, you were going all over the place. You were, did you go to Paris or, like, where were you? I was going to Scandinavia a bunch. <laughs> really? Yeah, Norway, Copenhagen, oh, wow. Sweden. I was over there, like, all Like, the on summer. your own, or you were going to, like, what? Tri- trips. Mm-hmm. I, was doing, I had, like, a, a watch sponsor at the time then, and th- he they're from there, mm-hmm. so I would just be out there. That was fun. Have you ever been to Norway in the summer? I've never been to Norway. No. The sun does not go down till 11. 
<laughs> so we but were, it only goes down for like two hours two right? hours so we're skating and i'm like we've been skating since nine and then you know when you can call it when it's nighttime yeah we weren't calling You're it like, till like 10 like, i'm yeah. like yo like this is crazy what's Tell going me, on did here you have the energy from that too i i did but not but after the fourth day i was like Yo, it's 10 o'clock, we need to wrap it in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But at first it was like fun because when you're trying a trick at eight, you keep going. You mm -hmm. don't have to like rush because the light is changing or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I like it over there. It's cool. It's a different vibe. People seem to be in their own little like lives and they're mellow. Nice. And you're going to Milan next week, right? Yeah, I'm super psyched about that. That would be my first time out there. I've never been in Italy. That's dope. So I'm excited to go. Who, who's <laughs> out there right now? I think all the guys are out there already. All the Supreme dudes. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think they're out there, and then some of us are going later next week. So yeah. Okay. Um, damn, that's super cool, man. Yeah. I didn't I'm even right. know we could travel. I know me either. So I'm, I'm psyched. Like, yeah, are, we, are we stuck in here? Are <laughs> like, we stuck in America? Like, <laughs> I'm yeah. psyched. I'm yeah. the only ones that didn't know. I miss. I miss <laughs> being able to travel. It's so fun. It's so fun. Uh huh. That's cool. How long are you gonna be out there for? I think like a week and a half or something. So that's a good enough time. I mean. I'll take whatever. It would be if it was two days. I'd take it. Of course. Like, well, Italy seems so beautiful, so I'm excited to just go and skate. And have yeah. Good time. <laughs> That's amazing. Sounds fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. So sick. I have. I was reading more of your tweets. Oh no! What, what else <laughs> hey. you got? I mean, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be going off on there. I'm different on there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you let loose. Huh? Yeah, I try to. Yeah. I, it's some of it's for entertainment value. But I've never like, tweeted in my whole life. Yeah. No, so, no, no, I never. I, ne I use Instagram, Arch, and that's it. Arch, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> you have too many apps. Too many. Yeah. yeah. I like t Twitter needs that seven. You ever heard that Drake seventy-two hour rule? No, what's that? It's like that's new. when someone says something to you, and you you like that's like you know you try to retaliate. Yeah. You take seventy-two hours to. To respond. To respond. Yeah, because you don't want to respond like emotionally. Exactly. But uh. that's Twitter's like, they need that block. You know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> so yeah, Drake, it's Drake's thing. And I was you like, might have taught me something. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna, I was like, I need that for Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but that's what it's for. I was cracking up reading your Twitter. So I need funny. I need to go and like I haven't checked it out yet. No, it's, you don't no. need to be there, Jacob. It's <laughs> Jacob, get on there, bro. You <laughs> have a lot. Should of stuff I just be there? super out of pocket like all the time <laughs> for no reason? Talk, talk, talk that I'll shit. I'll gain man. so many enemies. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, that I, dude, fuck that dude. I wrote something yesterday. I was like, you don't have to worry about me not liking you. I don't like anybody. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not me. I remember we used to be like, man, I don't need any friends. Like, I can give you some of my friends. Yeah. You can have some of them. I don't want to be friends with them anymore. <laughs> Just oh, wait. like crazy shit. I did want to ask you about the, uh, you had that cover of Juice Magazine also. Yes, I did. That uh -huh. was, that's my first cover. That was cool. Yeah, I shot that with Amelie right before COVID in February. Is Amelie in Australia? Yeah, he went back. For good? I don't think so. Like, uh, I think he's just trying to be out there. He's got a family and everything. COVID, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah his, his, wife, his yeah. kids, yeah. I love Michael Mealy. Shout out to him. He's man. really cool. Uh, he's actually really cool. I'll, we'll chat it up just to see how each other's doing. Where did, uh, where did you shoot that? Where was that? That was in L.A. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Near the tunnel. But mm -hmm. it's just funny how that came about because before we shot that, I was just skating the streets as I usually do, and I try to no comply it mm -hmm. for fun. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to work. And then I just kept it pushing. And then, then um, when I heard, like, we got to get photos for the interview, because I didn't even know it was going to be a cover. Oh, there was an interview in yeah, the magazine. Yeah, there's an interview in a magazine. Okay. And then I was like, well, I I got it. I was like, I probably can't no comply, but I could probably ollie this hydrant or whatever. Mm. So I took him there. And then, I don't know, I guess, yeah, I just started getting over, I started getting over the thing and started to work out. And Dope. Yeah, I'm psyched. Dope. I don't know, is that like an Australian magazine or something? Uh, no, it's a, it's a magazine from Venice. It's oh, been okay. around since 93, uh -huh. so 25 years. It's a very small magazine, but hey, I don't man. know. To me, it has roots in it. So I always like, I always like things yeah, like that. Yeah, they're getting covers, shoes. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to. Ha I, like I told my I always try to. Like, I want a 90s skate career. But without the drugs. You know? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, did you see my mind working? I was yeah. like, wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but without without the, the drugs <laughs> and like more money. Yeah, yeah. for sure. But I, you know, I gotta tell this girl something. <laughs> like I want like I want tangible things. I'm uh, like a cover. I like mm -hmm. like I got some ads. I'm psyched on yeah. like you know shoe like things that if the internet broke tomorrow, 
I've done my like I've done something in skating, you know mm. what I mean? So oh, yeah. that's what I'm I'd say when I have nineties. Like my ki- I can we're cleaning out the attic one day and a juice mag falls and my dad's mm-hmm. like, I feel that you, know? you don't want it yeah. to just live on the internet. On the internet. Because yeah. if the in- somebody actually said that one day, Joey Pepper, he was like yeah. In the future, there's going to be like no record of this period of yeah. time yeah. because <laughs> everything is digital and it's just going to like. That's so scary. It's going to disappear. And I'm like, day. I work too hard to be <laughs> just on the internet. You know what I mean? Like, I skateboarding's hard. Way. I feel so, the same way. yeah, I, I love print. Like, that's been my goal. Just like to have ads and just make a part. It's interesting that you even think like that. Yeah, I mean, because th- that's, that's what I grew up sawing, and mm-hmm. that's what I think is, like, mm-hmm. sk- I mean, everyone has their idea of skating. That's my idea of skating, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> you got to leave your time stamp. Yeah, I think <laughs> too <know>? much sometimes. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Overthinker. Yeah. Now, back to these tweets. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. what's up? What, what else you got for me? <laughs> bum, bum, Tell me bum, on. Bum. Uh, uh, this spot. one's about, uh, they, I was laughing so <laughs> hard when I was reading them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad to make people laugh. That's the goal. Because yeah. I'm laughing. I like this one. Some of y'all out here still eating pork, and it shows. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> like, you're, you're uh, messed up. <laughs> you don't enjoy a pork chop? No, no, no. I don't like yeah. meat like that. Oh, are you a vegetarian? Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't do meat. I mean, Respect. yeah. I don't do meat like that. I mean, pork's like the worst of it. No? Bacon? I mean, I don't, I don't yeah, know, I just, man. You're about like to go to Italy totally too. You gotta be careful yeah. out there. No, oh, they, they only. They, oh, they don't do vegan. No, nah, they probably do now. Things oh. are changing, but like even re- back in the day, like Spain and Italy, yeah. would just be like. I mean, I'm sure. They, I mean, I'm. Pa- I like <coughs> pasta any day, so I'm sure it'll yeah. be fine. But yeah. damn, I didn't know they were like that. Though. I mean, I can see that. They don't well, they like the cold cuts, you know. What yeah. I mean? Like the ham. you know ham. Yeah, and like uh, right off prosciutto the prosciutto yeah. and all that stuff, you know. Yeah. What, what is that? Come across that. Is that what that's called when they? Yeah, in Spain. In oh, that's food. called a that's a that's like a kebab. A kebab? Is that a kebab? I think. I mean, different. They, there's yeah. like gyro yeah, kebab. Gyro. Okay, that might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm like that's just. Some of y'all still <laughs> eating pork out yeah, here. Yeah, stop <laughs> eating pork. That's, that's, that's a good one. And we're the only <laughs> mammals that drink another mammal's milk. I know. Isn't that weird? That is weird. Oh, I feel so bad. Like I love. I don't milk. drink I another love mammal's milk. <laughs> No, don't feel bad. Like my no, thing I mean, is, my thing is like I never want to like. Sh- I'm not like a shamer. Like, oh, you. D- I don't care. Like, I'm not vegan. Like, mm-hmm. I'll have ice cream. But I'm just saying that's crazy that we do that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's I don't, one of the things. Like, I don't try milk, to change anybody's name. I stopped drinking milk like that. Like, well, I feel like half the world's allergic. I mean, I'm lactose intolerant. If I eat ice cream, I'll be up all night farting. I and, feel like, like yeah. same. <laughs> same. Like no shame in that <laughs> for sure. I'll be like, Yo. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like. <laughs> yeah, the pork thing. I just had a situation because I have a friend that's vegan and stuff, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm like, they talk shit about milk, and then one time I was drinking milk, yeah. and I guess all the like pus or whatever you say, oh, like, came out. Foam. Yeah, was it up on the top? Oh mm-hmm. no! And I took like the first swig with that, and I was like, what? The <laughs> and I felt so gross. Oh that, no! Like, I kind of like I, ju- I do vi- uh, what is it? Almond milk. Right? Almond milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. There's a whole bunch of options now. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna hate on like clean good milk. You know, because mm. I still fuck with milk. But mm-hmm. Yeah, but like, <laughs> I, I drink, I eat ice cream all the time, but. What about this tweet? Friends are a luxury I cannot afford. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. I'm going to send you some songs. I'm going to send you a couple Please songs. Do. You're, like, you're, like, you're just, like, no new friends. You're like Drake out here. Yeah. I just, you know, you just, I came off of 2020. It was a rough one. I mean, 2020 was horrible. It was horrible. Yeah. So I'm just, you know. Yeah. Well, pe- the people I have are people who stayed is who I'm keeping, you know. Yeah. 2020 uh, definitely like the people who were not 100 with you. Yeah, they, it exposed them. Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Which is I'm like, damn. You're like, if yeah, because we're all going through this together, mm-hmm. and yeah. like a lot of people's true colors showed. Yeah. yeah. When it came time to like be there for each other. Yeah. Totally. Pressure breaks pipes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm like. Dang. Well, mm. good to know. At least for sooner than later. You know what I mean? Yeah. At least I found out then than now. Yeah. Well, all right. What about this one? So I made this $100 bet with my older brother okay. to see if I can stay off social media for a month because he claims he's free <laughs> from it or whatever. <laughs> and I told him it's not that serious anyway, but the bet starts now. Okay. Wow. How did that go? If I only lasted two weeks. <laughs> oh, you did? Two I weeks. thought you were going to say two days no, or two hours. I did two weeks. Uh-huh. And then... Um, 
the notific like I got it for some reason like <laughs> something like someone was like check your DMs like someone hit you up for something and I was like damn it mm. money hundred dollars mm. so I'm like I I called him up I'm like I'm gonna I'm going to just go on. He's like, all right, I get it. It's for that. Mm -hmm. But we, we were going to redo the bet. So you did lose the bet then? I lost the bet. I you lost paid the up? bet. I paid him, okay. you know, respectfully. But I'm, you know. I'll find another bet to bet on Two weeks is a long time. It was. It was actually pretty chill. <laughs> I was chilling. Because at first, you're, when you don't have any, you're like, oh, you feel weird because you're like, you're used to knowing what's going on. In the yeah. World. But, but it, then yeah. after a couple of days, you're like, I don't care what's going on. Yeah, yeah. not at all. Yeah. You're hyped on just what you're doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was yeah. reading. I mean, I, was, I almost landed, you know, like a different trick I've been trying, like mm -hmm. steps like that. It was mm -hmm. nice. But it's also like cool to be connected, like, because, you know, this stuff or yeah. things like that. And like, it's cool, like, when I'm away, I can see what my sister's doing. You know what I mean? My brother. So that's I cool mean, that's too. the thing. That's what I use it for, just to check on the people that I care about. Yeah. Yeah. Know what's going on. That's so funny. I yeah. feel like, yeah, if you if you give in to all the, like, old BS or whatever, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're just always hating on it, like, you're not looking at it right. Oh, you no. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like I have fun and I goof around. You yeah, know, that's like, what it's for. Like, why can't I do that? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, like people, uh, I don't know when it changed. Like, you're supposed to be putting bangers on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's insane to me. Like, skateboarding is so hard. You're going to put it on Instagram? <sighs> but that's, like, part of the game now. That's yeah. in skate... Like, isn't it... Like, posts and stuff are in some people's contracts, right? Like, they're... Sk like they're really? Uh, I didn't even know that. Me. You're supposed to post X amount of, like, I don't know, post a month or... Probably Nike. That's something like bug. Yeah. I don't know. That, I mean, I, th that's just like that's just crazy to me. Like, I wonder if the people making the contracts skate. <laughs> or do they go outside? And that's yeah, crazy. That's hard stuff. Like, <laughs> for I mean, I can get when you're like a grom, you just kind of want to be seen. Yeah. But to, in the, if this is like your thing, like your job, like mm -hmm. I feel like that's a lot. And a video part. Yeah. And yeah. ads, and it's a lot. That's hard. Yeah. Yeah. This one I, is good. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, I just, I just, as a older dude, just try to like be like, hey guys, like I'm still skating. No, like, it's mm -hmm. You know, it's like what's up? Though. And they'd be like, yo. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, Jacob's got back tails like that. Like I get hyped when I see you skating. Oh, thank yeah, you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Jacob, be Appreciate out here killing it. You hype me up too. Shit. I like this one. You can always tell when you're leveling up in life. The haters and the roaches start coming to the surface. <laughs> Ooh, damn, we need to read all these. No, you don't. One more like than I thought. <laughs> She's hypey <laughs> on there, bro. You gotta get on the Twitter. Yeah. She's gonna get hypey. Yeah, do this girl. It's true. I it's mean, true. It's the true. The haters start coming out the woodworks. It's like, yeah, yeah. You're, I mean, that's why I realized. Like, if you're doing something like them, mm. they're gonna leave you because they want you in their filth. But the moment mm. you start leveling up, yeah. they're trying to pull you back into that stuff, and they start coming up to where you are. So my, I'm like, I peep it. Mm -hmm. So I'm mean, just <laughs> stay and keep my distance. Like the, uh, what is it, the um, bucket full of crabs? Yeah, <laughs> crabs, crabs in, in the bucket. bucket. Trying to pull you back <laughs> in. That's wild. It's like, trying you know, to pull you back in like the I'm, bucket. I'm trying yeah, I remember to be I better. posted that just shit fucking yeah. around, and you you were like, bro, this is hella old, dude. Like, this isn't new. <laughs> I remember they were saying it. that in the 60s. No, yeah, they yeah. say that. It's, yeah, it's, crabs it's, in a bucket. It's yeah. still a thing. It's but still, still you know, like, I just got to, like, for people that haven't seen it, I guess. Yeah, you know, no, for sure. My thing is, like, I don't. I don't understand why people, like, I don't understand. I don't know. I, did, I didn't grow up that way. Like, my mom always, like, if you want something or you saw someone have something, you don't fight for them. You go and make your own possibilities to go get it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, who, who, who got on whatever team? I'm be like, what can I do to be, get there? Yeah. How can I make myself better? But <sighs> sitting on the Instagram, like, what does yeah. that do for you? Like, I'm just so confused. Like, putting someone down does nothing for you but give, you, give that person more energy. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. I really don't understand, like, the negative comments. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, in the, in the immortal words of my good friend Nick Diamond, he said, if you're not being hated on, you're not doing shit. Yeah. Mm, facts. So the more you're doing, the more they hate on you. Yeah. Guess I'm doing a lot. Cause they're in there. <laughs> you're, you're like, they're you're in like there. more of the target that they're throwing stuff at, you it's know? It's crazy. I, just don't, I don't know. I, don't, I can't imagine. It's like, like, when I see, like, some 30-year-old man, like, commenting on this girl's post who's Clearly, he just started skating. Like, you suck. I'm like... Oh, that's crazy. Mm, that's foul. What? You're, like, yeah. ew. Like, Why would you're somebody so, do that? I don't know. I've seen a lot, like, older dudes comment on girls who just started skating. I'm like, leave her alone. But that's, like, that's... 
But I feel like skaters think like everyone's trying to go pro. Mm -hmm. yeah. People just do it for fun. You know what I feel yeah. too? Yeah. I feel like 100%. somebody has been like in a mind state for so long. They've been like, oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do mm -hmm. this. That like when they got a certain when they get a certain age, they're like. You can't have what I have. Exactly. Get away from like totally. what I'm going for. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, you get into that weird mm -hmm. world when you realize like I feel like when you come out of it, you know there's more to life than yeah. just like, this narrow path that mm -hmm. they're like fighting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I can I'd never like even before I started like, you know, having followers, I just never saw myself writing something negative. It mm -hmm. doesn't do anything for me but make me feel like gross about myself. Yeah. It just really exposes if you were that's not who First of all, yeah, not at but all. the people that do do that, it exposes their own negativity and their own feelings, totally and insecurities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, For if sure. I see something on the Instagram or on social media that I don't like, I just don't. I just don't exactly. say anything. Same. <laughs> I'm just like, I'll, I'll keep it to yeah. myself. Yeah. Or, you know, talk yeah. amongst it with your friend. Like, that oh, that impulse. was weird. Mm. But then you keep it pushing. Like to write it makes mm. no sense. What about this one? He said he fakey frontside flipped the 13. And then when we pulled up, he couldn't even ollie it. Like, Damn. why you take us there, bro? You lied. <laughs> That's sick. That was in Florida. That's sick. He wrote that. That. That's not some, this is like random Florida homies. That was, yeah, this is no one in skating. This is like Man. random Florida homies. Like, That's bro, true. That's cap. That was cap. Yeah. I was like, he said, no, he claimed it. And then we went. I think we should call it wolf tickets. <laughs> that's, that's, wolf some Bay tickets. that's some Bay Area slang yeah, yeah. right there. Wolf when you're wolf wolfing, thing, you're, wolfing. you're lying. Like, okay. you're like, you know when you wolf, when yeah. you, like, uh, what is it, the cry wolf or whatever? Yeah. And then wolf tickets is the next level to okay. it. And then when you're selling them, that's what you're selling. Oh, okay, so he sold you a wolf ticket. <laughs> he sold you a wolf ticket. The show yeah. was not there. You bought that shit. Yeah, I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> not really, though. Yeah. You didn't really buy it. Yeah, she liked it. Yeah, you were like, he okay, let, you, you, you were like, nah, you were like, like okay, let, let's see. We're going <laughs> to <we're gonna> see. <laughs> he didn't even know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. It's like a boneless or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. At least crash in front of me just yeah, to be I know, like, I know. you tried. Like, like you kicked out or something. Yeah. Didn't even jump down. What about this one? I think I'm going to go to F.A. today. They've been, they've been having dice games in Hennessy. <laughs> oh, shit. You drink Henny? I don't see you Sounds as a Henny drinker. I don't drink at all. <laughs> but um, <laughs> there's one of the kids who filmed for them, Seal, mm -hmm. and he he tweeted that. Uh I retweeted it. Oh, okay. So I was just like, damn, Like when I go to F.A., I want to like be a part of it. Yeah. So no, I don't drink. And they weren't drinking when I was there. So oh, okay. <laughs> I, heard, I know that's good you that you don't drink. I, I heard like the most drug you were like, you got messed up on a Tylenol PM one day. Oh, who, who told you that? <laughs> oh, wow. I heard people were talking about like, like there was a conversation in the, and like people were like, yo, I got so wasted. And you were like, I took up Tylenol PM were once. Were you there? <laughs> were you there? Yeah. <laughs> I got my ear to the street. Okay, okay. Got, yeah, like, no, and everybody was like, oh, you're so cute. Yeah, she got, I was like, she got messed up on a Tylenol well, PM. I, I couldn't, I felt groggy. It hit oh, me. yeah. It hit me I bad. I hate that feeling, though. I know what you mean. Yeah, I didn't grow up taking, like, um, medication like that. Mm. Like, my mom was very, like, holistic. So it's like, <laughs> I didn't grow up like that. So My mom was very holistic, too. Yeah. She was, like, all natural medicine and Yeah, so when you, like when you, when your body takes that stuff, you're like, oh, it's like a different feeling. Like, mm. my brother... My younger brother, like, he had, like, so many surgeries. He didn't even take the stuff they gave him, the oxy that they gave him. He's just, like, we that's weren't raised like that. That's really good, yeah. Shit. Yeah. I mean, he was mad young, like, because he grew up with, like, brachial plexus, like a, a arm thing. So mm -hmm. he had to, like, move some nerve from his shoulder to his wrist. So it's a big surgery. Yeah. And he just woke up, like... I'm okay. Just not wow. used to taking medication. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he's a tough kid too, so. He's good now. Yeah, yeah, he's fine now. He he's growing up and he's getting better. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. man, that's good because yeah. a lot of people develop habits yeah. after the doctors give them certain things mm -hmm. and it's not whatever. Yeah. No. Not, totally. No. no, I've seen it. So yeah. yeah, I just yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> you you're out for you're sure. Like, you got yeah. messed up on a Tylenol PM. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't do any of that stuff. So I, I, mean, I, I feel like I, I made it this far. I'm like, I don't need it. You know, I'm chilling. I actually, but I did say, like, when I turn pro, we're popping a expensive bottle of champagne. Damn, oh damn, okay. Dom P, Dom hey, Perignon. if that's what, it, if that's the you most know, expensive. I mean, I don't but know keep balance. I always go higher, but you know, what's don't the let highest? That, don't let be I don't know some <laughs> shit I never heard of. But if you want to go rapper status? You like pop a Dom Perignon or like? I'm trying to go rapper status. Yeah. <laughs> Or <laughs> Bel Air, or I don't know what they drink. You gotta go days. Queen Beast, no that idea. is. Yeah, I, I want to no ball idea. out. Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah, I just joke around when I, I mm-hmm. told like my TMs that and stuff like that. They're like, you're hilarious. I wanna. Whenever that happens, I'm invite me to the party. Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. That sounds that sounds fun. Work my ass off. Hopefully this year. This and one then you we, gotta Twitter that one. Yeah, no. <laughs> we out here popping. That is so sweet. What I say. <laughs> I said what I said. This tweet, we kind of spoke, touched on this a little bit earlier, yeah. but this one is good. What did skaters do in the '90s before social media? Yeah. Mm. We just, we just lived in our own world of day to day. I remember I used to love that you didn't have to call anybody. Mm. They would just be at the spot. Like you just show up yeah. and you see everybody mm-hmm. or like maybe see some new people you yeah. haven't seen for like a while. Mm-hmm. That's really dope. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. We just kind of, it was just a thing that didn't, you don't really know what you miss until you, yeah, yeah. it's gone. I mean, or until you, you don't, we didn't it. have it, so yeah. we didn't really care. We we're like, yeah. But I mean, I feel like I get that Figure sometimes, like when I'm on a session, I really don't like pull up my phone when I'm like skating around people. And mm-hmm. I'm like, you just talk, chill, run to the store, come back, just, mm-hmm. I guess, live, I guess, mm-hmm. without having to be like, I'm with this person or we're skating this spot, you know? Yeah. Things were more of an adventure back in the 90s. You'd like try to meet, you would, like, like he said, you mm-hmm. would always have friends at one spot, but if you missed them, you would ask somebody, like, yeah. yo, did you oh, see yeah. these guys? And then they'd be like, yeah, they went that way. So then yeah. you, sometimes you would find them, but it would always be an adventure on yeah. the way. You see, know that's I mean? so sick. Yeah. I like that. Like, SF used to have like zigzags of spots too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you'd be like, Pier, EMB, and then like, uh, what is it? Um, Hubba, Mini Hubba. Mm. Like, I could just go on. Union like, Square. Wendy's Ledge. Uh, what's Black the one? Ma- Statue Ledges. They used to have a couple of them. They're like little blocks, like where the statue is, like going up towards Wendy's Ledge. I don't know. Right we didn't skate that in my in my era. Yeah, I guess that became big. That became okay. a spot. Kind of. Yeah, it was the one. It was a long ledge out, right? <clears throat> there was like two of them. There was like one. Oh yeah, it was that, and there was mm-hmm. like a statue. Yeah, yeah. And people skate the statue, but they took the ledges out. I wish I had that. Like I didn't. I grew up like skating flat, and then my skate park. Like mm-hmm. I wish I had like. You know how the city is like a skate park? Mm-hmm. Then yeah. you, 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 your skate park is the street. Yeah. And you can just film on, the, you know? Mm-hmm. Like that's how you get good. Like I feel like that's how Love Park was. They just treated it like a skate park, but you yeah. can happen to film there. Mm-hmm. So I felt like I'm like, damn, I wish I had that growing up. Mm-hmm. But, you know. You do have that because you're still young. I mean, you I mean, still have that mind state yeah, and you're grinding right now. But so. it, it would have been sick, like, you know, 12 mm-hmm. running around the city or something like cool like that. Oh, like, yeah. You know what I mean? That just seems so sick. This is the last tweet I got from you. (laughs) One thing I learned here on this journey we call life is that when you learn about yourself, like when you really take the time to learn about yourself, it's a walk in the park from there. But the longest and hardest part is the learning about you. Mm, yeah. Damn. No, it's true. Getting all deep and shit. Yeah. You know, man, getting profound I'm glad over you're, here. You're, you're reading these. <laughs> these are good. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's not just you know. There's the, there's there's depth. Yeah. yeah. It's true. I just realized that, like, once you once you figure out who you are as a person, you just everything is just will fall into place. That's what I'm seeing in my life. It's like when you when you're trying to be someone else or trying to be this for this other person, or mm-hmm. that just doesn't it doesn't serve you. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you're like miserable. So I just realized, like, at least for me, like when I take the time out to like learn more about me, not in a selfish way, more like a selfless way. So I'm a better person for people. The better person that you are, the better you're surrounded. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So like my mom always like told me this thing, like, you know how you go into like a restaurant and then the people are so rude taking Mm -hmm. your order. She was always like, no one told you to come. No one told you to go to work. You decided to go to work. Mm -hmm. So like my mom's like, no matter what you're going through in your life, you don't project that on people. You're like that you, when you go out into the world, mm-hmm. you keep that, Damn. and then you you know he's like so, so I could be having a bad day today, but that I'm not gonna put it on you or him because that has nothing to do with you. But some people walk around with that on their like to the world. Oh, I mean, people walk around waiting to project their exactly yeah, their and frustrations like, onto yeah. other people, and that makes the world not a cool place. And mm-hmm. then you get rude waiters and like no one no one told you to bring that here. Mm-hmm. So that's how I was just raised like. You know, you're not harboring your feelings, but you're dealing with them in an appropriate time. You're mm-hmm. not supposed to go pour it out on people who don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's just 
some wow. stuff she taught me. Yeah. That's a great lesson from your mom. I wish that yeah. more, more of the country would, would have moms like yours. I mean, she's so great. She, raised, she actually really raised your me. Your mom really should well. write a book. <laughs> she she's, she's like lightweight to go. <laughs> She One thing I wanted to good. talk about before we got out of here is yeah. like I, I know you have a lot of like outside interests besides skating, right? Like yeah. You said you were going to you were going to film school. Yeah. You do some kind. Do you do like do you write? Do you paint? Like. Yeah. You, I mean, I'm just I like to be. I'm just I'm honestly like a busybody. Like. Mm. I like I, I say like I I want a break, but like when I have a break, I'm doing something. You know, mm. I just love to be like constantly making things, and so like. I got into photography like my last year, not my last year of college, but my last semester of college, I took this film photography class mm -hmm. where we, I printed, I developed my own photos. So we had like, like in a dark, dark room. room. Yeah. So I learned all that stuff and I was like, this is so sick. Like I want to start shooting film again. Well, not again, like start shooting film more because like I like this process and I like how my photos come out. Mm -hmm. So from there, I just like I bought I got a camera and then I just started shooting more and then just shooting my life because like in our head, like I, I, I could take a photo of like the shop with everyone sitting in front of them. We're like, oh, that's us. That's our life. But when some people from outside of us see that, they're like, what is this? Like, mm -hmm. why are you guys just posting in front of the shop and why is it important? Mm -hmm. like, or who is this? Oh, like who's this old guy in this anti-hero shirt and like why is it important but mm -hmm. to us it's important and we appreciate that and then when someone i feel like when people see you appreciate something they'll also appreciate it mm -hmm. so that's yeah. like why i do photography now and stuff like that but that's amazing yeah i just love being busy yeah <laughs> yeah and so you're you're into photography now and then whatever happened with your film like film school where did, did you kind of is that in the back burner or like, do you still want to make films or? I do eventually at mm -hmm. some point, but right now I'm just like focused on skating more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, hopefully I get to do something like that when I'm like 40 or 30 or something, you know? I really admire your curiosity. Oh. Yeah. And like you're, you're, you're just out here like learning stuff and oh, just being, having interests and really taking time to explore all of those interests like in an in-depth kind of way. Well, because I learned from other people. Like I remember, um, I, that, that's like my favorite thing, learning from other people. It's like, I remember Alyssa in an interview saying like she went somewhere cool and she didn't get to enjoy it. Like somewhere mm -hmm. cool and she only like partied and skated. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn, like, I want to, I want to like hang out and skate and go to the museum Yeah. Mm -hmm. when I'm in Rome or somewhere cool. You know what I mean? So I only can like learn from the people before me. And I mm -hmm. remember hearing her say that. I'm like, damn, if I ever get the opportunity, I'm not going to like party. I'm going to like skate. And then like when people are like not skating that day, go to the beach, mm -hmm. go to like, just see the, the culture, you know? Mm -hmm. So when you tell people like, have you been to, you know sweden i'm like yeah i didn't just go to these skate spots i like went to the museum yeah. there like i went to the beach there you mm -hmm. know i got to ch really travel mm -hmm. it happens to be on a skate trip which is you know it's funny you say that because i went to paris like 20 times and then after my skate career ended yeah. i went to back to paris and i was like i feel like i've never been here before. yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a different vibe yeah. it's a different, i'm like seeing all the beautiful it's stuff totally. instead of like a ledge in like la defense yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah. but no like but the thing about skateboarding that's cool though it's like we'll go to cities and know the back end of it because mm -hmm. we're in like the alleyway yeah. skating this curb and like the things that tourist people don't see. So you get the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to do for myself. Like, hey, oh, yeah, good. I'm trying to get everything in there I can. I like, link up with someone from there. Or something. Yeah, like I mean, now there's Instagram. People are like, if you come to Paris, like hit us up. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. you know. So it's cool. I'm excited. That's, what um, what are you working on now? Like, what we're, we're about to wrap up, but like, what um, cool. What do you got? Like, you working on any new projects or um, I just anything like coming up. Just working on my video part. I'm still shooting just photos. No book, like nothing. I had two books already, so gonna take it easy on those. Oh, you got two books? Oh, just yeah. casual, casual. Yeah, what? Oh, what? I mean, yeah. I mean, I had, I had <laughs> subtle a, little flex yeah. right there. No, yeah, yeah, I just I like, got well, two books. They're you photography know. books. So, so. Where, 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 yeah. Wait, are they online? Oh, they. I don't have. Are any. they sold out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't buy one. I think I might. <laughs> Damn, Let me look at my right. stuff. I might just have one for you. Yeah, <laughs> but I might just have one for you. But yeah, I. Oh no, I remember the the one. Did you, you come? About, 
No, I, I remember I seen it and I was super hyped on the on the one you had. You did, and I was supposed to. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to yeah, <laughs> no, you, you did remind me. me of, I was like, yeah. this is fire. Yeah. 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 So Vans helped me with those. Okay. Um, they just saw me. I mean, I, they they would just see me take pictures, and mm -hmm. I was just like, I, I, that's what I like about them. They're like, that's why I'm glad I went over there. I came over here to Vans is because they're. You want to do art? You can do art. You want to mm -hmm. skate? You could skate. Like, it's more things I want to do. It's not just like athlete focus you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's more like you can be creative you know more it's power like to that yeah like in i remember during covid i was playing the drums a bunch and I'm like damn that's sick like, if mm -hmm. you want to do anything mm -hmm. i'm like no it's just for fun <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah they're really supportive when it comes to like creative stuff so they've helped me put out those two books and mm. yeah i'm just doing that stuff just trying to stay productive <laughs> nice yeah <laughs> you had like a book like opening party and all that i did I'm, do you know token that skate that used to be next to labor, that surf shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so Christian, the owner, he helped me. We had mm -hmm. it there. Okay, nice. In January seventeenth. Oh, sick. Yeah, some oh, people nice. came out. It was really cool. It was like my first little like show thing in New York City. So it was really like overwhelming. That's but a major accomplishment. Yeah, Keep making like, stuff. You know, yeah. Thank don't, you. don't. You're very creative. Oh, yeah. but. Trying to, but yeah, oh. that was really cool. I'm, I'm glad he's not there anymore. He moved to Denmark, yeah. but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, whatever you do, I'm looking forward to everything that you got coming out. Thanks, I'm Lee. a big fan. Appreciate that. And, that means uh, a lot. <laughs> I'm so happy that we got to do this. Yeah, I really know. Cool. I got to know about you better, and like, you know, it's great. Yes. Thank you for coming. Thank you for I having fun. me. <laughs> for sure. Thank you for coming. Thanks, Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. Yeah, I know. Thank you both. <laughs> it's a pleasure. It was yeah, amazing. It's been great. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think we're good. Are we? We.